Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Miss my butthole, he laughed. From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 1053. Do it alive. 1053. And, uh... I, I do have to say, Billy, you look really different. Yeah, yeah, don't I? Don't I? <laughs> I, I, I? I got a tan, lost a good bit of weight. That's what I'm, being I'm rocking, in, my, rocking my bandana. That's what hanging out in Southern California will do to you, and getting COVID. So the tan is from yeah. Southern California, and the weight loss is from COVID. You know, you know, you know what, Billy? You you don't exactly look like Billy the way like you. Something about you is different today. Say something defending Martin Screlly. Well, I, I am <laughs> a sweet boy, and look, I'm going to tell you a story about something great that happened to me a few days ago. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, that's Billy. That's Martin, that is that's really right. good. Oh my god, that is really good. <laughs> now talk about how you're tall. Yes, yes, I love you, Billy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so quick, quick rundown. So the, the last show that we did, um, Billy, uh, was still in Anaheim and he said he probably had the COVIDs and he said everyone in his house had the COVIDs and, uh, today I was feeling not too good and I took the test and I got the COVIDs. Mm. So I got the mm. COVIDs, you know, Vit, you, you got COVID and you pregnant, bro. You got, look, yeah. you getting hit right yeah. now. Vit, yeah. This is a, <laughs> this is a super AIDS slash COVID slash pregnancy test. Um, yeah. Uh, I, it is, it, it's a weird feeling, but I, I, I don't feel too bad, but it, apparently VidCon was like a super spreader event. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and, and by the way, I did not say super shredder event. Those of you, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans out there, I did uh, not say super that. Super shredder is awesome. Yeah, I haven't was, shown my son super shredder yet. He, he was played by that, Kevin yeah. Nash in that, in yeah, that Kevin, movie. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin Nash. My, my greatest, my, like one of my greatest childhood regrets is not seeing super shredder hit somebody with the, uh, uh, with that power bomb. The jack that, knife. That Diesel used to finish people off with. Yeah. The jack, the jack knife power bomb. <laughs> yes. The jack knife power <laughs> bomb. Which, which which low key was like like when you look back at it, it was a trash finishing move. He's just a really yeah. tall guy and drops them on their head, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, I got the COVIDs uh, last night. I have this really old dog. She's like almost seventeen years old, and she has seizures at night. So like sometimes at night, I have to like sit there and like watch the Caesar pass. Uh, Caesar seizure pass. Uh, yeah. So there, yeah. Uh, so I was up all wow. night. But I'm going to try to keep the energy up. I have just, I, I took a hit off the crack pipe before we went live. There we so, go. There you there go. go. That, 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 yeah, that, yeah, that's it, it, that's what I was right. going to recommend. If you got COVID, do a little bit of crack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. it from that lady outside of McDonald's downtown. Yeah. <laughs> that was a sweet lady. That was a sweet lady. Um, <laughs> they shut down that whole corner. The cops, like, Really? Yes, yes. That whole corner is like what they call a mobile precinct now, and it's just mm-hmm. cops just Fuck. sit there all day so that they don't come back to that area. And that McDonald's is closed now. I remember yeah, Hannibal you know, was like, I'm hungry, Ben. Can I go eat that McDonald's? I'm like, do not go in that McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what we no, call those cops wait. sitting out there? We call them party poopers. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not what the fuck, that's not what I say. I say fuck the police is what I call them. Uh, you know what's funny? When we went to that McDonald's, I was like, I was, I was, we had just eaten uh, chowder. We had went to the, uh, yeah. What, what was the, what's the it name was of that Pike Place. Place it, it was Pike Place Chowder. Yeah, we we went to Pike Place Chowder. I had just had the chowder, and we had what was it, eight chowders, and I I, I uh, violently all of them. violently vomited on two of the the, the eighth, and uh, afterwards, 
I was like, hey, man, my stomach is feeling pretty unsettled. I need to, like, can I just stop somewhere and just, I, I wanted to stop somewhere and get, like, some fries and a soda, just something to put in my stomach. And what Ben told me was, if you stop at that Mike McDonald's, Feel I will fucking soon. leave. You need yep. <laughs> yes. I did not want to stay. I didn't even want to stand out there and wait for it. You know, yeah. and by the way, I do want to point out before we go further in the story that uh, the only chowders you didn't like were the white ones. I'm just, I'm that's just saying. True. That's true. No, there that, 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 that was, that was some white ones that were. Okay. No, there that were was some. That, uh, there were some uh, olive toned ones. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Greeks are just different types of white. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, look, I like all the chowder, Hannibal. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Monty, Monty, love him some chowder. Okay. Like, Did before, I, you before know Monty what? start dating dating a woman, he pulls out some chowder just to make sure <laughs> they got to pass the chowder test. I was streaming the other day, Hannibal, and someone made a comment, and I hope it's not true. But I, the thing is, is that I believe it based on your palate. Do you not like uh -huh. pizza? Do you think pizza is gross? No, I, I've never said pizza okay. is gross. Okay, because you said mac and cheese is gross. You've said all uh -huh. kinds of good stuff is gross. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, 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 there's. I, I, I'm realizing now that there's. Uh, I guess I don't mind hard cheeses, but <laughs> I do have a problem with soft cheeses. So, so I, I made some. Uh, I made some scalloped potatoes yesterday. Would you eat that? Yeah, yeah. fucking love scalloped potatoes. So uh, uh, cheesy scalloped potatoes. Yeah, potatoes and dry? and also I'm learning now that I love pesto, which is okay. It's sort of a mayonnaise. So right? like, um, no, it, it's made okay. out of nuts. It's made out of nuts. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. and cheese. So you wouldn't eat yeah. like lasagna that had like ricotta cheese in it. No, I, I I'll eat it, but like some sometimes if it has too much ricotta, I I, I don't enjoy it as okay. much. Like I definitely tend to enjoy more more meat and sauce and less of just okay. uh, the, the 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 super creamy cheeses. It, um, I do want to okay. say that it was way better that we uh, that we didn't let you go into mcdonald's because you got your french fries cooked by a robot this yeah. is true that yeah. was true that of was yeah, like, i don't think they i don't think they i don't think they know who gucci's is but we can talk about that um <laughs> gucci's is a person you know what else there's one last thing from like that part of your visit that i keep thinking about which is hilarious huh. is I took you guys up to the monorail station, but you guys didn't know we were in a monorail station. So you thought I was just yeah. standing there, like staring out a window. And you guys, you're yeah. like, "What are we doing?" <laughs> yeah, like, what are we? You, you just came to look, Ben? Yeah. What, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, it was like he just brought us to this building, and we just looking out some glass. Yeah. And we just, and we just stood there for a while. I'm like, "What are we doing? What, what is yeah. this?" Yeah, it's like, is this the part of the journey where I thought we were in a hurry? But is it customary for what, Seattleites? <laughs> To stop and stare out the window for yes. a bit. Yeah, because um, <laughs> the whole the whole trip, Ben had us like moving. Like we would just like we would we would get up at like seven fifteen in the morning. Like we had school. No, no, stuff. Hannibal, Hannibal. We would get up at like seven fifteen. Uh -huh. You would sleep in because this man is a diva. Okay, for, for, but hold for, on, hold for, on a second. Seven fifteen here is three hours later your time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. ten fifteen. Yeah, yeah, which is which is I, I don't wake up before noon if I don't have to. Oh damn. <laughs> oh damn! And then he would come in complaining that his coconut oil is hard. Yeah, yeah. Like listen, listen. When I wake up in the like, it was first off, it was very. I wasn't prepared for how cold it was in Seattle, even though the house was very comfortable. Thank you very much, yeah. uh, uh, Ben Pye. Yeah, but it was I, like when I wake up in the morning, I expect to be hard, not my coconut oil. I was not prepared for how cold it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now we're having a heat wave. It was like uh, it got up to ninety three today. Oh 90. shit! I, like, I wish it, I wish it could get down to ninety three right now. It's like ninety eight, ninety nine in yeah. Atlanta. Oh, right this now. What, what is it in New Orleans right now, Monty? Oh, it's hot as fuck. I wish the temperature would. That's how hot it is. This time last yeah. year, we had the the highest record high heat ever, and it got up to like a hundred and twelve, and that Jesus was just Christ. the. I had a I had a jar of gummy vitamins and they all melted together into like one super vitamin. Yep, yep, that uh, that yeah that will definitely happen. I need listen. I need the temperature and gas prices to drop like rope like abortion <laughs> in America. Yeah. So, but you guys remember, even though it was the the thermometer said it was cold outside here, you guys went outside and you're like, it doesn't feel that cold because when yeah. the sun is out here, the sun is like really intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it yeah. was it no, it was it was it was dope. Like every every minute of of the of our of our experience in Seattle was filled with just with with sightseeing and events and places and food and everything. So it was weird that we got to this random place and it just stared out a window longingly <laughs> for like five. And I was literally like just waiting minutes. for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. I remember I had to blow my nose real bad. And there was nothing around, and I was like, "Damn!" I I had to like. Uh, I think I just. I don't remember what I did. I think I just blew snot out my nose and just yeah, had to. You ask ran it. over to the booth. That, yeah, that... something like that. I had to ask the. There was a uh, with the, the 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 monorail guard. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah, that, I don't know that, what he was. Is that, is he's that like behind you, so you still he, don't he know was like the, the fuck you are. Yeah, he like he was like selling the the tickets and stuff for the monorail. Yeah. Yeah, he was a monorail ticket salesman. Like, could you imagine if your child said that when they grow up they want to be a monorail ticket salesman? <laughs> how, disappoint, how disappointed would you be if your son or daughter was like, you know what I want to be when I grow up? Yeah. yeah my son's going to be enormous. I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm but like, you can do something with that size. But is he? But is he, so if he used that size to sell monorail tickets, how would you feel then? <laughs> You're like, I support your son, but really, nigga? <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely be, I would definitely be caught off guard. Also, like, instead of the zebra effect, I guess we got the Oreo effect going on right yes. now. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Or the ice cream sandwich effect. I kind of like that one better. I like the ice cream sandwich effect. How about yeah. the Hydrox effect? Do you know what that is? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yes, I do know Hydrox. Hydrox. Okay. Yeah. That is that is amazing. I'm all, I'm never not surprised at the random information that Ben Pi has <laughs> access to. I love me I some did, Hydrox. It, it, yeah, like, like yeah, Hydrox cookies. That was like those were like the gas station Oreos. Well, like you didn't want to get regular. They Oreos predated the Oreos though, and Oreos literally ripped it off of Hydrox originally. I, yeah, the the I problem with Hydrox because they're actually good is their name sounds like a cleaning chemical that you'd like yeah, clean your cool. floors with. Or a dragon in like a Lord of the Rings type movie. <laughs> you must first defeat the Hydrox. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna move on in just a second here. I want to remind everyone that the DP Summer Shirt Sale is still going on. It's officially summer by a few days here. Everyone, uh, you should get yourself a shirt. Link in the description uh, using the code DP Summer Twenty Two. You can get twenty five percent off of any of the shirts you see here or other merch. There's like a like a wall tapestry, all of the classic shirts, all of the new shirts. There's like a mug. Uh, you know, nice. check it out. It helps support the show, and you get something cool in the process. Go there. Link in the yeah, description. It'll, it'll... It, it'll it'll go towards uh, helping Ben Pie get rid of his uh, COVID and abortion. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If I have COVID too long, I'll have to abort myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't want that. Yeah. 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 We don't want that. Uh, don't want that. <laughs> all right. Here we go. We're going to get started into antagonism. Right. Here it starts. Yeah. By the way, we recently found out just how much Jesse Lee Peterson probably wanted to touch Godzi Kozo. <laughs> I haven't seen anything about that. Shit. I have. Yeah. So I have some of that. We can get into that. I did want to get through a couple things first, but yeah, we can okay. watch a little bit. Yeah, I want to see who this guy is that everybody's talking about with the nerves. Guys, like, what is guys, that? You know, no. guys with Z. Okay. No, no, this, 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 this nurses dude that I, I, I see. I'm like, who is that? Oh Y'all been yes. Talking about this- the last couple days okay yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so, okay yeah okay good i, I am completely unappreciated <laughs> who who is this person and, and why are we james robert yeah i assume uh, that's james where robert going. clark james is robert clark the third uh is a very strange man that is a victim he, he's a creepy guy a, a stalker a weirdo he's also a victim of his own oversharing like, if he just shut up and kept these thoughts in his own head, he wouldn't yeah. have the backlash he gets. That's any laws cop. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, like a Shanny, yeah. like a Rev, like a Jerry yeah. Genesis. Uh, yeah. We're going to play, I'm going to play his uh, one of his latest videos. Everyone give the stream a like if you could, please. 
and I will play this very first one. Here it is. So I wanted to talk right. to you. Um, so, so, little bit of backstory. Uh, he ended up going to some kind of cardiac unit. Okay. Okay. And there was a nurse that he was under the care of when he was there. And ever since then, he's been obsessed with this nurse that was probably just talking to him because it was her job. I live in James Head. There's lots of room in here. Yeah. Echo. Echo. So, Echo. Echo is Hat Echo. Man. Echo. Oh. Yeah, so, so, so he's that guy that the Tool song is about. She <laughs> acts just like a nurse with all the other guys. The nurse who loved me? Or he, No, that's a Perfect Circle song. He's, let's, not, let's not act like a bunch of these nurses don't just got like fat asses. So I, I like, I depending well, on what she said to him, I, I might. Okay. She didn't say anything that indicated interest. She was asking him general questions and being polite because she was doing her job. And she has, he's been trying to like sow the seeds where, and and she probably has forgotten he exists. But he makes videos mm. to her all the time, even though she almost definitely doesn't watch. And he. uh he ended up in a psych ward because he's so obsessed with Fuck. with this young nurse uh, at this hospital that he went to. So it's that yeah. that and level. Look, public service announcement: nurses, bartenders, and strippers are not trying to get with you. Right, not that's their job. Not at all. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's their job. Mm. Yeah, I got you some earrings, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you. I'm probably. I have to resign myself to the fact that I'm probably not going to see you. Okay, if I was, you probably would have gotten a hold of me by now. Yeah, he's been putting out that, yeah, come on, contact me. I think he, like, wrote his info on a thing and gave it to her. And he's been making videos for months as if she was watching. Um, but she's not. Oh, my God. But oh my God. what I want you to understand is... Um, I really did think that we clicked very well, and I know you did too. That's why you said what you said, and that's why I said what I said. What did, what did she say? Because chances are she was being polite. Yeah, most uh, likely. Um, and and when you sit down in front of a nurse for the first time, they ask you a whole bunch of questions about yourself, and it's perfectly normal before you see the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's sad. Uh, if we don't ever get together. Um, but you know what you said to me. I know what I said to you. You know what I said to you. And I know what you, you said to me. you remember when you said your blood pressure looks amazing? Right, right. That, that was a compliment, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really all that's important. Um, I really wish we could see each other. Um, the earrings, they're just something cute. I wanted to have... He bought her earrings. Oh my God! He's buying her gifts. Mm. A woman that he doesn't even talk to. Wow, your A one C is incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. not a compliment, right? <laughs> that just means you're healthy. <laughs> you're five foot eleven, a uh, hundred and seventy five pounds. <laughs> I can tell you're very interested in yes. me. And when oh. she's when she asks you what meal you would like, it's because there are options, right? <laughs> Something cute if you did decide to see me. And I, I do hope that eventually you do see me. And I probably will be available because I don't really do much. As you know, it, it seems like you have difficulty finding people that are worth spending time with. He assumes all these things about this person that he doesn't even know. It's very weird. Wow. What what is what what is this posted to? Did he put this on YouTube? On YouTube. Oh my god. He makes a YouTube community post like every 30 minutes to an hour all day wow wait what's his name J james, james robert, robert clark the third as all right, much as i have i'm looking i'm trouble. looking i'm listening but i'm looking at them sure sure finding people that are worth spending time with and i think it would oh by the way uh hannibal you'll like this he also claims to be some master martial artist kind of like jared Ooh. yeah Ooh. yeah okay. really great if we could spend time together okay and look, all that stuff I was saying about the fun summer stuff and the fun autumn stuff, that might not be anything you want to do. He was like, we could go berry picking. You want to go berry picking with me? 
is that wait is that like code for something is that like does that does that like mean something to white people no or that just, no no for, it's berry picking yeah he, berry just, picking. he just wants to go pick berries on a date yeah. he wants a date picking berries and he's like well it can be just platonic but you know even if she did agree to it he would be weird about it the whole time he's not interested yeah. in platonic relationship and by the way i do want to mention that was something that G-Man said he wanted to do with Chani, too. Berry picking. Really? Yes. He was like, we go f- pick strawberries. Well, I guess they all live in Pennsylvania, and that's like a common Pennsylvania thing. So, oh, okay. Okay, I got you. James yeah. Robert that's- Clark, G-Man, and, and, and Rev should all run a train on Chani. Oh, my God. Don't make me vomit, man. Oh, stop. <laughs> Do, do you think anybody would actually be able to penetrate the... You know what? I don't want to think about this. This. this I mean, like they the did have an OnlyFans, like, after all. Yeah. Oh, they did. Hey, yeah. Hannibal, go check out Sexy for Christ right now. Oh, my God. It's so crazy because, like, there was one video they posted at Twitter, and it was like... You could see Shani's like huge ass mounds, like, behind her, and she's like, yeah. you know, bent over... And she's all like looking at the camera, getting railed, like "fuck me, Rev, yeah, yeah." <laughs> and Rev's like, Dick "Can't reach." And like, Rev's behind her with a t-shirt on, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." yeah. That's, that's 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 the video that Monty tricked me into watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a, I, I didn't that, trick you that, into that. watching it. You you looked it up. <laughs> when no. other people told yeah. you to. No, no, no. It was specifically Monty. We were on the geek room. Monty was like, "Hey, Hannibal, click this. Go check this out." And I went and checked it out, and it ended up being Shani and Rev's. It's not my second. fault. You're a grown ass man. You make your own choices. You, you told me what to do. First off, you're the worst <laughs> father ever. I didn't yeah, want you to and I, I look and XX archives just uploaded the stuff where she was threatening, or she was saying she was wishing that God would destroy me with Hurricane Ida. Bet you forgot she about that. Squirted. Shit, bitch. And. Uh, and yeah, I've been getting messages all day of people going, Shani's going in on you. She's going in, in on you. No, she's not. That's old. Yeah, but that yeah, is bitch, old. I didn't forget that you wish that God's whirlwind would destroy me. You're a piece of shit. Okay. And if that's <laughs> Wait, the was case. Wait, that, was, was, that, was that her exact, those were her exact words that she hoped that God's whirlwind would destroy you? Would teach me a lesson. Would teach me a lesson. We don't have to do <laughs> anything. She used a picture of the wicked witch under a house to make that point. In, the, in okay. that metaphor, and- she's the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. she might. Sh- wanted to ride this when she invited me on her show. It was all like, "Hello, handsome." Yeah, and and he's like, "You can call me mommy." I'm like, "No, nah, I don't want to." I got you to ride you. his face, but I told him that was a dead death threat, and he needed to take that very seriously. It is. <laughs> uh, they, they, they play around expect- in YouTube streets, man. He's <laughs> crazy. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit here. It's like right, you have difficulty back. finding people that are worth spending time with as much as I have <laughs> trouble finding people that are worth spending time with. And I think it would be really great if we could spend time together. Okay. And look, all that stuff I was saying about the fun summer stuff and the fun autumn stuff, that might not be anything you want to do. And if that's the case, we don't have to do anything. Okay. But well, yeah, I got you those like earrings. That. We don't have to do anything. We don't, we don't even have to meet up at all. Uh, mm. They weren't too expensive. They are silver, like they are actually uh, sterling silver. And the other one is um, plated with yellow gold. They're not expensive. Don't feel pressured into contacting me because I got you earrings, okay? Because that's I can just give them to somebody else in a while if you never get a hold of me. Although that person will be special. He's trying to bait yeah. her into contacting him. She, he thinks like she's gonna be like, "Oh damn, ear free earrings, man! Uh, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll totally talk to you now." Trying to look most yeah, but adorable. also, but and also berry picking though. Let's not forget yeah. the berry. Yeah, picking. yeah, free what? earrings and berry picking. <laughs> I assume he's gonna pay for it. I feel like if somebody if somebody offered to take me berry picking, I feel like they're gonna try to murder me. See another weird thing. Um, he was like stalking this. A woman from Argentina. I guess he started doing it when she was underage, and he got all weird about her and made videos to her, just like he's making for this nurse. But when he got his uh, COVID stimulus check, he bought a ticket to Argentina and was making all these videos about like trying to lure this girl out to hang out with him in Argentina, even though she showed no interest whatsoever. And I'll show you a, a little bit about that too. 
Um, but we'll get through this one really quick. Yeah. And uh, that's just all I have to say. I hope to see you. I hope to hear from you. I'm probably not going to. Um, I wish then you would stop. give me a chance to explain right. the nonsense. Um, I guess you're not going to. Um, as I said, I have people that can help explain it, that understand what was going on. I'm not half as bad. He thinks she's not interested because he gets trolled on the internet where she probably hardly knows about that and just yes. doesn't like him. I'm pretty sure this nurse doesn't even know what's going on on YouTube. Nope. nope. Like when that uh, loudspeaker Linda stuff happened with us, <laughs> the nurse that got doxxed yeah. didn't know. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. As these Until people she started getting emails. Are trying to make me look. Okay. Okay. Take care. I really wish we could get together, and I hope you're doing very well. I hope you finally got out of that hellhole of a job, too. But I hope you're doing well with your life. Take care. All right, so there's that one. Wow. Check out this slightly older video just to kind of get a sense okay. of what he, how he is. Oh, and he, his appearance is constantly changing. Oh. So oh, I want to be 100% clear here. This was a video I had hoped I wouldn't have to make, but Adonis Paul is still acting like a little bitch, like he always does. So <laughs> <coughs> these accusations of uh, pedophilia against me because I had liked uh, a young lady's photo, okay? Number one, my account now on Daywave, they demonstrated that they had a uh, hacked my account and said that uh, they had posted things on my Instagram account. I'm not, I didn't used to be very active on Instagram until I started getting harassed on Instagram by Daywave, okay? And by okay. Daywave trolls, and by Nightwave, and by other trolls, and by JJ, uh, JJ Stoner. But the thing is, what you... JJ Stoner, by the way, I think I saw him in the chat, too. Need to yeah, JJ, okay. JJ Stoner is, is, is hanging out in the chat. Yeah. What's up, JJ Stoner? Well, see you, JJ Stoner. Yeah. And about my behavior on on Instagram is this. Okay, a lot of times somebody will follow me and I'll follow them back. I might like a few photos. I don't put any thought into what I'm doing. You need to put thought in things that you do. <laughs> yeah. That's your problem. That's your problem. Yeah, I don't I don't put thought in potential crimes. I just yeah. do it. Okay? I don't yeah. think about it. I just go yeah. for it. He's also, talking, yeah. he, why, why does he look like a born again Christian? He looks like he just went to like gay conversion camp. <laughs> right. But like, like what, the ones that didn't work on. You know what I mean? So, right. I guess, yeah. uh, you know, it's okay. It's just, this is very, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I'm listening. I, I, All right. But, but no, he's right. Like, with crimes, like, that's me and Hannibal's friendship. I'm like, I'll call him up one morning when we're bored. I'm like, hey, bro, you feel like committing a crime today? He's like, uh, I was going to work out, but. <laughs> You feeling down? You need to commit a crime? Like, yeah, I want to do do a crime today. I've and seen we, we several. Go do a crime. I've seen several videos where this guy talks about going to international destinations because of the lower age of consent in these places. Too. Oh my God, Jesus! No. <laughs> See what I mean about the oversharing? Like, why would you make a video mm. saying that? Don't yeah. tell people shit like that. Right? If that's, if that's what you want, just. I no. wouldn't say do it either, <laughs> but yeah, it yeah. is it is weird. I just like some We're random actually photos. Helping us, so please, please, share. yeah, I, let us I'm know. I'm sure a lot of people I know do this. My daughter away from. I used to do this on Twitter. Okay, I used to do this. Twitter and Instagram, I see, is pretty similar. So people might ask, well, why did you like a young girl's photo? Well, the thing is, number one, I think that was a setup from a troll. Okay, so. Somebody follows me, and I follow. I, I actually don't know if I did. Well, I really don't know if I followed them back or not. I don't remember anything. I don't remember liking the photo. I liked a photo. He's trying People to say he was me. hacked. Usually, I'll, I'll mm. throw a couple quick likes their way. Okay, just to you know, cheer them up or whatever. I don't care. That's it's whatever. You know, it's nothing no. to me. Then the young Indian girl, who clearly, which I've proven is at least in her late teens. Um, like, like, I, like, are we like, 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 are we, is she 18, like, 19? Indian person or like, you know, Indian from India person. See, I, I think I'm India. focused on the late teens part. 
Okay, R. Right, Kelly, okay. fine. Okay, I don't pay attention to, to numbers. I, I only see... Race. Oh, my God. So, I actually haven't like, liked any of her photos, but what happened is she clearly followed me, and then I followed her back. Now, a lot of times what happens is people will follow you, like a lot of these Instagram models or wannabe models or whatever. They'll follow you and then unfollow Lots. you to get noticed so that they have more followers, okay? I don't know if this young lady follows me or not. I didn't check. Um, however, I, I actually did go back and like a few of her photos after uh, it was brought to my attention that I was following her. But the thing is, <laughs> number one, I never said anything inappropriate to this girl. I've never, and I'll get into this in a bit, I never said anything inappropriate to this girl or any other girl that was under the age of 18 on the internet. I haven't. It just hasn't happened. Um, and what's funny is what you will find out is not only have I not said anything inappropriate to any girl on the internet, I have never propositioned anyone under the age of 18 for anything since I've been 18 years old. It hasn't happened. I've never propositioned. Why are you just propositioning random people on the internet though? Like yes, yes. without any interest, um, I, I wanted to show another one here. The, the title of this video is... <laughs> the title of this video. Is Charles Manson the most famous victim of gang stalking in history? Oh, my God. Oh, he he is Shanny Revan G-Man. Uh, 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 so crazy. Is okay. Charles Manson right, the most true. famous oh. victim of gaslighting in history? history probably charles manson just misunderstood yes yeah but wait um, wait wait that hair that hair though that is hilarious yes dude. thank <laughs> you for that haircut he, that he, is hilarious he looks like duke the dumpster drossy the the the, <laughs> the, 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 the the garbage man wrestler from the 90s yep <laughs> for those yeah. that aren't familiar with charles manson's case like me i th i actually thought manson was guilty until I majored in criminal justice and I did a report on him. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there wasn't a single shred of evidence. Were you majoring uh, in criminal justice simultaneously while you were teaching martial arts, like you claim, and working in mental health? He, he, he's, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 Jamie Maddox, he's fucking multiple man over here. He's, he's crushing doing it. <laughs> he's doing it all. Love Against it. him. And there was a whole lot of evidence, a whole lot, to exonerate him. But it, it, it was never really taken seriously on purpose. He was, he was basically given a kangaroo court, locked up, given the death penalty. Then it was He was never given. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, he's he's going to correct it. He was sentenced to death, but then California got rid of... Uh, the death capital death. punishment, yeah. Commuted right. to life, etc. And he was made into the devil. He is like he basically Charles Manson, Hitler. Uh, these people are seen as the ultimate uh, devils. Okay. And what's funny is okay. Charles Manson is put into the same camp as people like uh, Richard Ramirez, who is a truly brutal. I don't think Charles Manson denied what he did i think he was pretty unapologetic about it yeah. he, he did uh he did get possibility of parole and most of those parole hearings are on youtube and they're psycho there's a couple where you can yeah. tell he cleaned himself up and is trying to get out but then there's some where he just goes crazy and yeah he goes fucking he goes fucking nuts yeah, yeah. i've seen a handful of those shits online yeah. over the years yeah yeah that shit is like yeah yeah like watching charles manson like defend like defend himself in those appeals like he yeah he just he he goes he goes in yeah he's yeah, yeah. dude's a fucking dude's a monster sadistic maniac but was charles manson no but if you actually look at the interviews you will see gaslighting or not even the interviews so much as the parole hearings. Oh. You will see gaslighting at its finest from the media and from the parole, uh, the parole board. Some of it is uh, one of the, my favorites was they consistently said that he didn't express remorse. That's not true. He consistently stated that if he were guilty, then 
some of the things were the oceans would not be enough uh, tears. If the oceans were his tears, they would not be enough. Sounds like G-Time Johnny type speak, if anyone what? else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, for the amount of remorse he would feel, but he didn't do anything. In a sense, what it was is he was not admitting guilt. He consistently did not admit guilt. His story was consistent from the beginning to his death. Uh, one of the only things that I think were modified is after he read Tex Watson's book, uh, Tex Watson said that he did it because he thought that might be what Manson wanted him to do, but Manson did not tell him to do that. This is the important thing. And Tex Watson stated that he did not blame Manson. All right. So Charles Manson, apologist, we'll move on. We're, we're kind of doing a crash course. <laughs> In this guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, I, okay. Like, what, 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 what other major, uh, uh, uh terrible people in history did he defend? <laughs> did he also, did does he also defend Hitler? Is there, is there a Hitler defense video? I somewhere? don't know. There might be. Um, here's a creepy video he made for the Argentinian girl. Hey, kiddo. Okay. Obviously, if you're kiddo, come on, track of what kiddo. The conversation was there. Um, you know what's going on. Uh, I did want to let you know. I obviously, you know, I knew everything already. I figured it out on my own. Um, unfortunately, I didn't expect it to be confirmed with somebody with a shoe size higher than their IQ. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm very <laughs> happy for with himself you, just now. Okay? Yeah. which I already let you know. And in a lot of ways, it does actually make me feel kind of good because I didn't think you just stopped talking to me for no reason. I knew. Oh, I think this is him figuring out that this girl that had no interest in him has a a boyfriend. I think that's it. Is this the same nurse he was talking about recently? No, this is the girl in Argentina. Okay. That he bought a ticket to go see, and everyone was like, "Don't go, don't go to Argentina." There were people uh, wanting to find him while he was there. Um, I think he got. I think she got a restraining order on him, actually. So he wouldn't have been able to get into the country. There was a reason. You know what I mean? I knew you wouldn't just stop talking to me because the excuses seemed kind of silly and whatnot. Look, obviously I regret everything going the way it did. Um, you know that. Just know that I, I will always care about you. I'll never give up on our friendship. That would be silly of me. Um, and it no. would be ridiculous. Sometimes you should give up on a friendship when they, yes. when they have no interest. Yeah, I can't imagine any relationship in my life being this fucking public. What is wrong with these people? Good question. I think it's good in some ways because I don't like, I mean, it's bad for him, but for everyone else, we know what he's doing. We know what his plans are. So he can't surprise anybody with some insane shit. Yeah, I guess so. Mad at you. Course. I hope you know that. I never was mad at you. I got frustrated because, well, you know why. I hope eventually at some point uh, you'll talk to me, but I, I completely understand why you can't. You know that. I, I don't expect you to talk to me. If, if that's your boyfriend, Jesus Christ, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, those, but those, I do that, know. that wasn't my boyfriend. That was law enforcement. That you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, um, you know. You're a good girl. That's that's what you are. You were very. Hey, kiddo, you're such a good girl. Uh, Genghis Khan, dude wiped one fifth of the globe's population pre-industrial revolution. Sure, it's hard to compare them. It's such a it's such a different circumstance. They're both they both did terrible things. Yeah. If I could, would I be that if I if I if I will Smith this guy, would I be in the wrong? Um, yes, I, I don't I'm like saying, him, but I'm you would. Yes. Yeah. I mean, like if you just randomly assaulted him, uh, I, I don't like him. And I think a lot of people would be happy about it, but you'd probably get in trouble. Right. Yeah. Yeah. OK. okay. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I can live with that. Yeah. I, OK. I'll just be in a little bit of trouble. Dad will bail me out. You got the bond money. Right. Monty? Uh-huh. No money. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Dad is still broke. Okay. Hit play on the video. Never sweet mind. to me. You were very sweet to me when I needed somebody to be sweet to me. Okay. Uh-huh. And um, I, I, I'm very happy for you. Um, clearly, I'm 
not going to give up on our friendship. I'm obviously not going to try and see you. If you follow the comments, please, please, please read everything. I was very adamant that I'm not trying to break you up with anybody or anything like that. I I know what's going I knew what was going on, as you know. I just, I would never do anything to hurt what you got going on. Okay? I don't think you're a threat. And uh, I'm also not going to give up on our friendship, but I'm not going to. Give up on our friendship means I'm not going to quit stalking you. And he's like, but I'm not yeah, going to do yeah. anything. You should give up on this friendship. Yep. Just give up on it. He was like, hey, I just want you to know how <clears throat> focused I am and how committed I am to, you. to our continued friendship. Nothing will deter me. Nothing will, will stop this energy. You know, nothing will put this fire out inside of me to pursue you. Don't worry about it. Right. Like, yeah, that's, that's a pretty terrifying fucking thing to uh-huh. leave randomly on YouTube. I like how yeah. his shirt is kind of similar to the shirts that Chris Chan w- was famous for wearing, and he's oh, mad yeah. that she's not a boyfriend-free girl. Yeah. 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 Anything, you know, stupid as, of course. And I may not you even come Billy down tonight? to... St- Guess he's visiting his sister, Shani. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> yeah, Billy's on his way back from California, and he'll be here tomorrow because uh, we're doing two Patreon private shows in a row tomorrow and the day okay. after so Shit. And, and and how much how much do they need to spend to be able to watch those patreon only shows five bucks patreon.com slash dp listen five bucks you can get that from your mama yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just, just call her up right now mm-hmm. to um, argentina i was never planning like, on mama, seeing I five you bucks. if i never had your permission to see you you know that i know <laughs> that um Good luck with everything. I don't know where. Here's the thing where uh, he thought he was going to Argentina. He was doing this weird treatment to try and look better. Look at this. (laughs) He's trying to stimulate collagen. I see it. It's already working. Is it spinning? Uh It's microcurrents. Oh. Oh, I see the collagen going into him. Hold yeah. on. Holy shit. Hang yeah. On. He's start, like, I see it. He's starting to look like Chris Evans. I see it already. Yeah, look at that collagen. Oh, yeah. Ladies, he's single. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, let me get into this a little bit more. He's so, always so changing. I'm harassed over being a, quote, pedophile. Okay. Okay. Now, number one, I'm not a pedophile. Number two, I have to keep saying this over and over again. Over and over again. I followed people on... Wait, wait, wait. Real quick. Um, You got to start questioning yourself. If you have to keep saying you're not a pedophile (laughs) over and over again. Yeah, like, what, what, what life choices have you made that have led you down a path where you have to explain to people that you aren't a pedophile? <laughs> yeah. I feel like, like, that's not something that I have to explain away on a regular basis. Yeah, I've right. never had to say I'm not a pedophile. He also looks like he just escaped out of a mental institution. Yeah, he probably did. Yeah, yeah not, like, like, not like Arkham, but like a, a lower tier as- asylum. Yeah. Ooh, Bell I like photos of young girls on Instagram. Ooh, and I've explained this a million times. Okay, so the reason I like some photos of young girls on Instagram is because they followed me and I followed them pause back. It, pa- I pause not- it, then, pause it, pause it, pause it. There's no good that can come from a sentence that starts with the reason I like young girls' pages on Instagram. Yeah. There's, there's no, there, it doesn't matter what you say after that. If that's the setup for the movie, it's about to be a bad movie. Right. Yeah. I don't know if the young girls yeah. were the owners of those accounts. He James, number one. He likes okay. young girls. That was on just Instagram. my protocol on Instagram. Yeah. I never really paid much attention on Instagram because I don't really care about Instagram. I'm not very uh, self centered. I don't post a lot of photos of myself or anything like that. Because they won't yeah, get a lot of likes. You touched it to those young girls that you like, though. Yeah. That's what Instagram's for for you. Gotcha. I was on Instagram gotcha. to communicate with people I was friends with on Facebook. Okay, a lot of my scientist friends and stuff, we followed, <laughs> some of us followed scientist friends. each other on Instagram as a alternative means after we would get banned from Facebook. Uh, so yeah, me following uh, girls on Instagram or liking photos of girls on Instagram doesn't prove anything except I was liking people's photos that followed me. Well, no, it the one you like was girls, clearly not a women. Tr- right. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, and when you hear like, young girls, that can be interpreted many different ways. Like, yeah. if he had said young women, I'd be like, okay, so not little kids. Yeah, yeah. Like, our Instagram is fat asses. Like, every time I log into our Instagram, I just see ass jiggling. I love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Troll or something of that Woman nature. Ass. And if you, people would notice this, I've never said anything to anyone underage. I've never propositioned anyone that's been underage. I haven't propositioned a minor since I was a minor. And even then, since I was a young minor, because I was sleeping with girls that were in their 20s and 30s when I was like 16. Okay? So I, have- I don't believe it. I nope. don't believe it. Nope. I don't believe it. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Somebody bought me this button. Yeah, how much, how much did he pay them? Is the question. I don't believe it. I don't, I would believe it. And, and like this dude as a minor was having sex with chicks that was twenty twenty one years. I don't believe it. No, I don't. no, he wasn't. He I was don't. not. I haven't he propositioned not. a minor uh, for quite a long time, uh, and it's never been since I've been an Wait. adult. I don't go after minor wording. Wording, you dumb fuck. Right. I haven't propositioned a minor for quite a long time. Right. Don't say that. Right. What a clip. This is this is, this is like the, the when uh um uh um when Oprah's friend was was interviewing R. Kelly and she was like, Have you ever had sex with a teenager? And he was like, Define teenage. I'm like, so first off, if you're being honest, there's no such thing as the wrong answer, but that was the wrong answer, right? Yeah. This is that was the wrong answer. Right. That was the wrong thing to say. Yeah, that was the, the oh Jesus Christ! His media team is terrible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I did make some inappropriate jokes because they wanted to call me an ebophile. An ebophile is allegedly somebody that is attracted to uh, girls that are well, actually not girls, women that are biological adults that are under the legal age of consent. The problem with that is, wait. is there? Oh, he's taking wait, it to what? a new level. He's taking it to oh, a new yeah. level wait. here. Wait. Like there was a. Wait. There was benefit of the doubt before this, like just in this video. Like if you were just watching this video for the first time, you didn't know who he was. Now yeah. he's gonna like bury himself by saying but, but this part. What is, what is this thing that he's talking about? It's in in, in evil file. Yeah, yeah it, like it, 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 so. Like basically, it 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 separates what it means to be attracted to like literal children that have not had uh gone through like physical maturity yeah uh but still might be like high school age that's what he's saying you know what i i just realized about myself i, I what i just realized about myself is none of my nobody in my inner circle in, in my inner friend circle uh no a whole bunch about the different type of philias that exist. Yeah, you know, just like, yeah. Hey, normally, man, uh, you would know if you were like a psychologist or one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. one of the main reasons I know all these terms is because the the p word gets thrown around so much on the internet yeah, that uh, like you just hear it everywhere and people say that shit everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, just like Hannibal. Everybody I keep around, they fuck grown-ass women or grown-ass men. Right. And he could be like, he could have just made a video being like, hey, uh, people are saying weird things about me. It's not true. And then end the video. (laughs) It'd be like, if you got proof, show your proof. It's not true. End of recording. But he doesn't do that. I don't even go that far. I don't feed the trolls. Right, right, right. I I mean, he could (laughs) say that if anything, right? Yeah biological yeah. adults they are post pubescent okay i like youthful vibrant women i like young women with energy that don't yeah. have wrinkles all over why, their face why focus on youthful when he said it no <laughs> that's his first that's that's what that's his number one attribute that he looks for apparently i like youthful Adult, like Mary Lou Retton sized women, is what I like. I like, I like them to, I like for them to be adults, but look twelve, right? Yes. And it looked like they might oh, have yes. some years left in them because I plan on living a very long time. Okay, and I don't want to be dating is he a woman. Start that's... talking about Telomere soon, because he he sounds like uh, what's his face? That other cow, um, 
The oh, one. Talking, uh, uh, not uh, Jared Genesis. What's his fucking name? Um, yeah, the right now guy. Yeah, right what's now. his name? That you? Oh, shit, I don't. I can't think of his name. Yeah. I'm gonna figure it out now. Now, now you got me on. Okay, what, play the rest of the video. What is wrong yeah. with his jaw, by the way? You guys are like, have you looked at his oh, jaw? It's, it's too big. It's, it's too big, wider but... than like the top of his head. Yeah, I would cast him as the tick. Yes, Lucas Werner. Thank you very much. Lucas uh, Werner. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah drop, drop yeah. one of the clues bomb. Zoe, drop one of the clues bomb for the. Ch oh wait, wrong show. Uh -huh. Wrong. Show. Thirty-five. Damn, the chat just nailed it. Yeah, looks like that was, he looks yeah, like yeah, Lucas Werner. He looks like Don Flamenco from Punch Out. <laughs> no, his jaw is too big for that. My mother. <laughs> but okay. he, he does. So I, I see the Don Flamingo in the eyes. Yep. Yeah, Don Flamingo, Don Flamingo, and Glass Joe are the two fighters I've never lost a fight to in my yeah. yeah. There's the second Don Flamingo. He's a little harder. He, he, he's he's slightly tough. He's got a jab. Yeah. Ew, I go yeah. after women that are in their early twenties, their early to mid twenties that look healthy. Some of them don't even look like they're in their early twenties when they're in their early twenties anymore. Okay, but my point is, no, I am not a pedophile. No. Uh, I'm not an ebophile. I have stated that you know. Do you women... know why? Do you know why women don't want to be with you, dude? Is because you keep making this list of demands of what you want from women. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't work. He has a Sorry, manifesto. Bro. That are yeah. biological adults. They are post pubescent. Okay, <laughs> this is why ebophilia. Passed the didn't pass the smell test of the psychiatric association to be included in the DSM five is because it's not a thing. The problem is the age of consent differs very greatly from state to state, from country to country, etc. So planet to planet, to state that you know that can be the determining factor in what a, uh, a mental illness is is based on the law is absurd. Okay. That's not really um, a grounds for. Well, was Neelix a pedophile? Yes. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. Oh my God! Yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes he was. Yes. Because Kess was one year old. Yeah. And he, and he, and no. He no. He he fucked Kess till she got superpowers. Okay? Well, like her her race. By the way, those of you who don't know, it's like a Star Trek thing. Um, her race of aliens. Like they had like rapid aging, so she looked like like an adult woman when she was one, and then died when she was like five or whatever. Don't they only live like five years or whatever? Yeah, yeah. That's it's it's a really yeah. weird thing. But yeah, I like asking yeah. people that because it's like if you have to think about it for a second, they're like, and I never liked Neelix too. I hated Neelix. So yeah, same, same. Ne Neelix was a garbage character. He was right? a busybody. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah uh, by was. the way, by the way, you wait the whole series for Neelix to go to Earth. He's like, oh, I can't wait to see Earth with all you guys. And then he leaves mm -hmm. four uh -huh. episodes before they get back to Earth. Yes. yes. What a he, loser. He yeah, he, 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 left with, he left with some, some uh, Talaxian pussy that he found on a comet. Fuck right. that guy. <laughs> right? Trash. <laughs> trash, uh, The basis trash, of trash. a mental oh, illness. Yeah, say, anybody, anybody who, like, I have a friend... I would like the, the the engineer for Team MFN. Uh, he is a huge Neelix fan. No. He feels like Neelix was one of the best parts of of Voyager, and that uh, uh, Voyager wouldn't have survived as many uh, uh, of the perils that they faced in the Delta Quadrant had they not had Neelix on board. I'm like, get off! I'll his tell you what, furry dick. Tuvok okay? was one of my favorite characters, and after he merged with Neelix, mm -hmm. I liked Tuvok less just by virtue of that. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a little Neelix in you, Tuvok. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of that Neelix. I like Neelix. Y'all are hating on Neelix, though. Oh, ne ne no, Neelix, Neelix was is garbage. Trash. The, the yeah. fucking morale officer. That's not. First off, he's that's the not chef. A real job. Like morale officer isn't a job the same way monorail ticket salesman is. You know a what real it is? Job. It's like it's like when they give the slow kid at school the water boy uh, position, like on the basketball team. They're like, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> you know, like like yeah, that. What if Neelix is good at keeping the morale up? No, <laughs> Y'all don't give him credit for that. He he has to pick up all the towels in the locker room and like put them in the laundry and everything. That's that's what it's like. I'm, I'm just saying, if you're getting hunted by like the Herogen or the Borg or or uh, the, the, the purple Klingons, 
you know, uh, uh, the the uh, the purple Klingons from uh, from the beginning of Voyager. Who do you want watching your back in the in the foxhole? Neelix, the morale officer, or the security officer, Tuvok well, Shakur? Well, that's why you want the security officer. Yeah, you need exactly. the morale officer on the ship because when mm -hmm. people start dying out there, you need somebody to keep us pepped up. Neelix, <laughs> you're just, up. Just, just, uh, just all you know, man. You like the best thing you can do is use him as a shield while you run away. I agree. Okay, that's all. Um, so do. I would be a great morale officer, <laughs> just so you know. Um, yeah, you, you'd, be a great, you'd be a great chef, and you look. And the chef on Enterprise was black too, so you could probably get the job. Here's uh, <laughs> here's one more uh, from this guy. Where this is before he decided he wasn't going. Actually, you know what? Let's watch a little more of this, and then we'll play that one. Okay. And then we'll uh, we'll look a li at a little bit of the JLP documentary that was made yeah. by other right wing people that want to take down Jesse Lee Peterson. It might be true what they say in it, but yep, yeah. I'll, I'll let you guys okay. see it. All so I that's why I know we can find a way. Pedophilia <laughs> failed. Pedophilia is the attraction to pre pre pubescent girls. I have never been attracted to prepubescent girls, and I never would be attracted to prepubescent girls because I'm not like these freaks that are harassing me and stalking me and encouraging the public to attack me. Dude, okay. dude I'm just saying, I have never had to defend so hard against something I didn't do. Mm -hmm. I knew Shut you are, up. but what am I? I knew yeah. you are, but what am I? Okay. <laughs> So that's oh. the difference between me and these people. They are projecting their own pedophilic urges onto me. They have these they pedophilic are, urges. I made a bunch of jokes. I made a joke about Jeez. a Slavic girl. I made a joke about a number of things. You know, it doesn't really matter. These people can take my jokes out of context all they want. They're the pedophiles. If they weren't the pedophiles, they would not mm. be fabricating nonsense mm. and exaggerating nonsense. No. They would accept the fact How that... Mistake Number 164. Yeah. When they call you that, it doesn't mean that they are. Stop it. Stop it. That makes you seem more guilty. Right. Oh. They're idiots. But they're not, because they're pedophiles. Every one of these people is a pedophile. He uh he he made a post on his community page um about DP, and it was actually a, uh the last show that Billy wasn't on where Jeff and Asterios were here. And he he says we're all secret homosexuals that are obsessed with him and we're all obese and mm. i don't know it's it's really weird you were def you were definitely not obese ben Pye. Uh, no, I, so. I'm, I'm i'm chunky for like being a small person i could probably yeah. stand to lose like 50 pounds what's the term so. for someone who likes to fuck both their parents you know <laughs> <laughs> we, we we call we call that montefilia is what we call that Giddy Roy Scott, I'm he thought I'm he could get my, with my former friend. Look at the giddiness. Look at the weirdness. Okay, he's a little, he's a creepy bastard, as is Adonis Paul. Okay, they're all a bunch of creepy bastards calling me a creepy bastard. Okay, you and understand the difference? I'm not bastard. a creepy bastard. They're trying to you make are. me into a creepy bastard. I don't no, give a you, damn. You are a creepy bastard. You're doing creepy bastard shit. Yep. Like he's got the creepy bastard textbook right now, and he's following every bullet point of the creepy bastard philosophy right now. Yeah. Yes. He's doing it all. He's he's living in. I truth. have fucked both of my parents. He did like like understand like every like for Memorial Day it was like a very awkward dinner. Uh huh. <laughs> me, Ma, and Peep Pop and Monty. <laughs> Here's here's one more video from him a little bit here. Oh, oh shit, that's not it. Hold on. Uh, no, no, but I see. Go. So I'm going to take a little hiatus from YouTube and social media in general, simply because all of my accounts have been swamped uh, by yeah, trolls. Yeah, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. All lost cows do this. They announce their exit from social media. You don't have to announce. Just. Stop. Well, that's of course so they can come back like eight hours later, like they all do. Yeah, yeah. But the more important thing is, I have to concentrate on getting my shit together um, for going to Argentina. You look like a pastor. Yeah. Um, so that's a couple months away, but it's going to come quicker than I think. So it's like what December, January, February, March, like four months away, three, four months away. So. Um, I gotta get myself. He lives in the bathroom at the airport. Not really, but it sounds like. 
look back in shape. I got to put on about 15 pounds of muscle, which is going to be next to impossible. But I'll see what I can do. Like, at least he wants to get all ripped for that uh, Argentinian woman he's stalking. Mm. Oh, oh my God! Terrible. Pounds of healthy muscle without the fat. That's going to be very difficult to do. But I do have to get myself prepared in case anything goes down when I get down there. You never know. <laughs> I don't think so, but you never know. I also need to give someone a chance to miss me. I don't think I've given somebody a chance to miss me yet. And the whole time we were together and maybe she needs a little bit of time to miss me. I do want to give a shout out to Lil Git and Miss Whiplash. You know, if you guys want to get a hold of me, I liked what I was seeing on those polls. If you uh, like what you saw in those emails, get a hold Is of me. Is he sending dick pics? <laughs> you know, you have my contact information. I'm more, you know, I'm very receptive to, uh, you know, any way you want to do this. Either one of you, you know, you probably have my address. You could probably physically come over to my place. It's been <laughs> doxed <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, everything that, about this is, uh, is, is yeah. super crisp. Super you want to get in my van? I've got some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's enough for this video. Do, do, do you like candy? Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little hiatus, probably for a couple weeks, but we'll see where it ends. <laughs> hey there, Muslim. Muddy learns that <laughs> they do miss me when I'm not around. All right, so there's that. Everyone give the stream a like if you haven't already. We're going to watch a little bit of this thing where, uh, so it's like other right-wing people that used to work for JLP. They're trying to take them down, basically. It's funny. Yeah, I, if Yeah, it's funny, like, from my perspective, because the they're always like, he's gay, he's a homosexual. Like, it's a bad thing. Lesbian. Right. Yeah, I, I was telling Monty about this. This was, we were going to talk about this on our on our show on Wednesday because uh, Monty didn't didn't know anything about this, and I wanted I to I, I, I wanted to expose him to it for the first time on our show. So I'm I'm glad we get to get to get Monty's reaction to this live All on right. Trump and Pez. Okay. Man, this okay. Is great. I, I need some Mountain Dew Am Game Fuel so I can watch huh? this real fast. Uh, you still on that? Oh we, yeah, yeah, Mountain Dew Am Game Fuel. It's the best game gaming soda on the market. Mountain I don't, Dew Am Game Fuel. That's a thing anymore. They yeah. they sent me like a case of that shit, and uh, for a while down there, I'm like, oh, what is there to drink? I'm like, oh, Mountain Dew Am Game Fuel. It felt that feels like taking a hit off a crack pipe, man. That shit is. Okay. <laughs> it gets your heart palpitating. Yeah, um, the, the, the the whole time we were when we were when we were uh, hanging out in Seattle, that's the whole thing. I was just like, damn, Ben has got all this cool stuff to eat and drink and hang out and stuff. But he, I, where's the Mountain Dew M game? For? That's what I'm here for. Yeah, that was the whole that was the whole reason I tried. I tried ordering cases of it online, and they said that I wasn't extreme enough to to, to order. <laughs> extreme. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll I'll get to some of the actual content of this. So it's okay. called uh, Amazing Disgrace. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. I've changed, and, so I, and I don't saying, have any skeleton in my closet. You're saying that you're a 100% saint now? I'm not saying that I'm a saint, but I don't do those things. Yeah. There's a little background on him <laughs> great, here. Great, um, great opening. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I want to get to, like, the actual meat of it. Yeah, hold on. Because they, they explain who he is, which we already all know. Um, yeah. I want to get to, like, oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Come back what you hate. But shortly after the March interview, friends of his came to us with a different story. These stories first came to light when Jesse's former co-host and alleged decade-long gay lover exposed him. 61-year-old Patrick Rooney has known Jesse for nearly 30 years, dating back to roughly 1992. Everybody know Patrick Rooney, one of the smartest white men on this side of heaven. The two were so close that Jesse was the minister at his wedding and the pastor at his baptism, long before Rooney claimed any homosexual activities began. Right around that time, I also had started a uh, TV show. I was doing a public access TV show in LA and uh, with a friend of mine who uh, had uh, gotten off heroin and, w and wanted to, he asked me to be involved in the show to help uh, other people get off drugs and things like that. So we started the show and one of our first guests was Jesse and another gentleman from Bond. So we did a couple of shows with them. 
And from that time forward, right after the show happened, Jesse and, uh, and I talked in the green room, you know, backstage. And right off the bat, he started asking me stuff. Jesse's very forward with his questioning and things like that. So what he, is a man? He actually asked me yeah. right after that show, uh, are you gay? <laughs> Rudy's characterization oh, shows that Jesse... Yeah. I feel like now, every time he, in the past, he's asked someone that, he's actually interested in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesse allegedly used wow. similar grooming tactics as other homo predators like Saginaw priest Father Robert DeLand, who asked similar questions when preying on a young man in 2017. To discover that you have some gay tendencies is a fine thing, mm. because then you don't have to be so confused. Right. Do you feel less confused? Mm. Do you? Yeah. After Jesse discovered Rooney's same-sex attraction, his relationship with Jesse was taken to the next level. Bit by bit, this guy, this guy's the host. Jesse began edging him closer and closer to sin. Once we, once he, uh, he moved closer and closer to sin. Up there to do the show, we stayed in the same house. It's hard to pick whose side you're on here. Jesse would yeah. kind of yeah, because the people, the people making this is like a, like a religious organization that is like very anti the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, very like, Catholic. Like, yeah, so like they they're bringing in all of these these monsters and abnormal heathens, as they put it. Uh, yeah. To have them talk about Jesse Lee Peterson. It's super weird. Watch yeah. it. Yeah, this is what? crazy. Yeah. Some things yeah. kind of horseplay and stuff like that with me. And at Jesse times, liked to roughhouse. Uh, do stuff where he would like, like grab me does. and then we'd kind of wrestle around a little bit. And I'd feel his, you know, private Manhood. parts against me. And yeah. he did that more than once. So it wasn't like an accidental <laughs> thing. He would kind of do it. And then I even mentioned it like, you know, what's that or whatever. And he would kind of hey, play around. Hey, what's wrong with a couple of men wrestling around getting a little erect here and there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There it is. There, there, hey, there, 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 look, Jesse, there is nothing wrong with living your truth. Allegedly. Yes. Allegedly. Yes. 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 Allegedly. If that's what you want to do, do it. Joke yeah. about it. Do it. Fast forward to 2005, and Jesse was ready to make his final move. We did a uh, conference with them called Moral Reconstruction, which is kind of ironic mm. uh, now that we're sitting here talking about something, something else. It's called Moral Reconstruction. We did that. That first conference was, I believe, in 2005, and uh, we did a follow-up conference in 2006 with them as well. And I went with Jesse to uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, for this conference. Uh, I was a fundraiser at the time. And so we did fundraising. I was I was part of the conference. While we were at the conference, um, we stayed in uh, Virginia, you know, near near DC. So uh, we were sitting on the bed together, and um, all of a sudden he turned to me, Virginia just looked, me, looked at me, and he said, "Here we go. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, <laughs> what do you want to do?" And he you said, wanna, it in, "You want you want to do some sodomy real fast? Yeah, you know, yeah, you want to." One time I did ask a male friend of mine, what do you want to do? And it was totally innocent. And he was yeah. like, take off our shirts and kiss. <laughs> it was Scott. It was Scott Henson. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> big cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big cat. <laughs> in, a, in a tone that was really yeah, was like, You want to see something amazing? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd never seen this tone from him before. It was like kind of scary. It kind of scared me. Like, like what? What do you want to do? I knew what he meant, and then I told him, well, okay. And at first I'm scared, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm playing along here. It kind of threw me off my game, I guess, in a way. I think later I realized that's kind of something that people do sometimes. It's, it's like the devil works in a certain way by intimidating you, and it throws you off your normal. You mean, the devil? He means tempting you, not intimidating you. He was tempted, yes. not intimidated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang. And so he said, what do you want to do? And he's like, okay, I'm scared. He wanted then, some of that JL penis. Yep. Uh, <laughs> JL peen. <laughs> I said, I told him what I want to do. I, I mentioned sex acts, you know, that, we, that he knew about that I had already talked to him about that I was interested in. And next thing you know, he's ripping his clothes off and coming at me, basically. So, like, this story is very normal. He, he's like, what do you want to do? And this dude replied with what he wanted, and it was sex. Yeah. So then yeah, they started him oh, sex. I fuck. Right. Yeah, and okay. ripped, well, let's and do it. ripped his shirt off Hulk Hogan style. And it just and they got yeah. to it. Yep. And I am a real American was playing in the background and everything. Yep. Yeah. 
And I did the same. fight for what's right. Fight for your life. Yeah, did that awesome ass guitar solo in that. Bitch. That was Rick Derringer. That was Rick. I need to make a beat out of that. I need to. We need. I need to make a beat. As a matter of fact, you know what? I, I know. I know how I'm using that shit, Monty. Oh, that God, song. That right. that song I, was written yeah. by Rick Derringer. Uh, he did. Uh, like rock and roll hoochie coo that, that was like his big hit song like in the 70s um that, yep that, that was the second biggest song he ever did no he's done other he, he also played for edgar winter back in the day like uh like there's that f- song frankenstein by edgar winter it, it it's like an instrumental it's like yeah he's he's the guitar player in that too you know where but, right. but, but 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 that song wasn't hulk hogan's theme song though so that's, yeah and that's, wwe that's we could remember WWE commissioned him to make a bunch of theme songs back in the day. He made uh, like uh, Demolition. He did their theme song too. Um, okay, he, nice. He did a bunch of them. Fully added, having not not getting detail here, but basically full on uh, sexual acts. Rooney's recollections show that Jesse mirrored Delan's sexual advances almost identically. I love you. Love you too. I know. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> No, what are we gonna do? Really? Rooney's description. Should- I like how they're comparing wow. like Catholic priests mm-hmm. uh, being molesters to Jesse Lee hooking up with some dude like kind of around his own age. Yeah. Also, know. this yeah. nigga's got more action, Jesus Christ action figures than I've ever seen in one place. If I went to somebody, if, if I went to a dude's Jesus. house and all he had was like religious toys, I would just walk out. And oh, yeah. Catholicism. Yeah, zero points of articulation on all those action figures too. Like, oh, someone fuck? just brought up that Rick Derringer also produced Weird Al. Yeah, he was uh, even, like, the biggest Weird Al albums. He was the guitar player and the producer on all those. But um, Catholicism is all about idolatry. Like, it's all about having statues that you pray to. And, like, you even pray to, like, the saints as if they're, like, their own Roman gods and stuff. It's really interesting. And you drink blood and, and pr- participate in, like, a cannibalistic ritual. Oh, yeah, also. going down on a girl on a period? Is that what that is? Well, Drink like blood and, and cannibalistic <laughs> human flesh. No, yeah. no, I think it's a different animal. Yeah. Oh, they call we, they call that cherry pie porn. So uh-huh. after their sexual encounter, Jesse began intertwining his private homosexualism with blasphemy. After we had just done our the first sexual act, someone says they're Protestants, not Catholics. Then why the fuck do I see a Virgin Mary statue? Protestants don't believe in the Virgin Mary, like they don't pray. I mean, they believed in her existence, but. In, in in Catholic idolatry, Virgin Mary is like second only to Jesus. So I don't yeah. think you know what you're talking about. See, like, I have to wonder what it's like to be such an idiot, like, that you just type dumb shit into chats all the time, like, like you know what you're talking about, and you don't. Damn. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and then ever since then, he told me that once we did this, I was born again. This, I mean, this sounds crazy, but this is the absolute truth. He said that I was born again. He would remind me of that through the years. Following being born again, Rooney contends that his sodomitic relationship with Peterson went on for roughly 10 years. And so Rooney decided to come clean to his wife and son. My son was really angry. My son was mostly angry at me because he had Jesse on such a pedestal. He, huh? he, my son had Jesse on such a pedestal, he literally thought Jesse could walk on water. We got on a phone call, we talked to Jesse, and as soon as we brought it up with, with, a, with my son on the phone call, Jesse denied it. And I said, Jesse, you're a liar. You're lying. You know, this is, you know you're lying. And he finally came So out. Jesse Lee Peterson is an evangelical Protestant, but this documentary is made by Catholics. Wow. Uh, okay. To my wait, son. It, 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 wait, so the, these... The, these guys are a Catholic organization. Yes, I don't like, and they recruited these guys from Jesse Lee Peterson's past uh, what, what, to make what, this what hit they piece. Is like faith militant or something? What what is it? That's not faith militant. That's Game of Thrones. What, uh-huh. what is this? What what is, what is the organization called? Uh, I'm not sure what the name of it is. So, somebody in the chat, let me know what's the name of the people that the group that made this this documentary. I've I've I watched this. Uh, Thursday or Friday, like I watched yeah. it from beginning to end, and it is amazing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna dig into this myself. And look, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Hey, what if Jesse I was secretly you, I don't want to fuck you. Up with Hannibal uh, and Monty. 
Also Protestantism is a pretty broad category of Christianity which includes everything from Anglicans to Jehovah's Witnesses and yes. technically Mormonism. <laughs> it's very broad. I, I wouldn't include yeah. Mormonism in it. Maybe that's a technicality, but sure, yeah. Uh, Protestant were... Pe I mean, they were churches that left Catholicism and had disagreements, like Lutheranism. They yeah. got rid of a lot of the idolatry. Yeah, um, church, church militant. That's okay. What it was. Okay, so I, I wasn't, I wasn't that far. I just did a Game of Thrones rewatch. So when I said faith militant, I was like, no, that's from Game of Thrones. Uh, it, it, okay, no, church, church militant. Okay, so I wasn't that far off. And and Anglican yeah. was just created so that the King of England didn't have to listen to the Pope anymore and could bang whoever he wanted and impregnate whoever he wanted, and mm. basically. The Anglican Church till this day, technically, whoever the king or queen of England is, is the head of the church. Um, like So technically, uh, Queen Elizabeth is essentially like the pope of the Anglican Church. Um, because okay. yeah. I, I, did, I, had never, I had never heard of it Anglican. goes back to Hen it goes back to Henry the eighth. Yeah, Anglican is the official church of England Look, for a very long time after after uh, after the Anglican church was founded. There was kind of a struggle back and forth between Catholicism and, uh, the new Anglican church. And then eventually it got to the point where the Catholicism was, was made illegal in Britain. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Rooney later moved to Florida to get away from Jesse, but according to Rooney, Jesse couldn't handle the relationship ending, offering him several bribes to get him back to LA. It's typical <laughs> for homo predators to try and cover their tracks. <laughs> homo oh. predators. Oh. Oh, oh, this is like, oh, <coughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're making a statement that they believe that there are different levels of predators and predators that happen to be yeah. preying on their same sex are somehow worse than yeah. other types, Yeah, which I, says a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to watch this fight and whoever wins wins. I don't care at this point. Oh, oh, so. All right. Yeah, they're both trash. Gotcha. And Jesse Lee Peterson is a trash for being homosexual. Hey, Hannibal, That's will you funny. punch the person in the chat that called me a manlet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, seriously though, I am crabby, but not because I'm I, like I'm. I'm fine with the like the genetic lottery. Like I, I can't control how tall I am. I can't control that I'm balding. You know that kind of stuff. I come to terms with that. I'm mad that I, I have feel, COVID. I feel like you have a full head of hair. Like when we no. were there, I was just. That's what I remember thinking. I was like, man, you have like long, you and Monty both have long, luxurious hair. Um, I, I've got, uh, I've got the like, the balding crown, like the very like tip top of my hair. I have thin hair there. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. I look better in Ben's jacket than he, he does though. Uh, no, his, no, 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 uh, no. Ben, Ben's leather jacket is so dope that you stole it while we were, uh, while we were hanging out. I did. Yeah. yeah I wore that jacket the whole time we were out there because I forgot my jacket. I forgot this beautiful piece of work that sits right next to me. Mm. Hope you have strategies <laughs> to shut piece people up. Piece of work. All right, so, yeah, hold on. We'll move forward a little more. Okay. Right, here we go. But the, they'll, they'll keep anybody off the You're air. You're talking about other victims? <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, other victims. Uh, and he'll make sure that if anybody talks about these things, calls up his show. Yeah, so uh, he's going to point out something, and this is interesting because when we had JLP on this channel, I mentioned something that he got kind of weird about and then left shortly after. And it was an interview really? he did with, yeah, when you guys were on. It was, yeah. it, was, it was an interview that he did with this like militant black separationist um, yeah, named Gazi Koto, who's also gay, and oh, and yeah, you mentioned all right. I do I do remember you mentioning that. And Gazi Koto <clears throat> had his phone on recording it because JLP never released the interview. Usually, when an interview yeah. goes really bad, JLP releases it yeah. to like make the other person look bad. But he didn't post it, and the whole time Gazi Koto is like, "Why doesn't your son even like you? You're secretly gay, aren't you, J uh, Jesse Lee Peterson?" He was going off on him, and it was craziness. Um, and then wow. I mentioned that to J JLP when he was on the channel, and he, he was like, first he pretended to not know what I was talking about, and then he left not mm -hmm. too long after that. Or does anything like that. They were not going to get mm -hmm. through on the show. Patrick explained how easy it was for Jesse to discredit victims, given Bond's history of seeking out troubled young men. 
a lot of the people that Jesse brings around him are troubled young men. It, like, it's like Joe Exotic. Skull, like Hulk Hogan. If that happens, you need to shave it off just like Jesse Ventura when he was governor. <laughs> you know, I I've thought about going the full on bald when when I thin out more to where like it looks like I have no hair on the front of my head. I'll probably do it. I'm kind of uh, turned. I'm put off by the upkeep that it will take, so that uh, like I won't have like the Picard hairstyle, which will make me look like yeah. I'm insanely old. So yeah. yeah, but you know, I'm not in like I when it first started happening. Like, in my mid-30s, I was really insecure about it, but now it's like, it is what it is, you know? Unless you have, like, Elon Musk-style money, you, you, can't, you can't fight baldness. But Elon Musk, yeah. he, he was bald, like, 10 years ago, and yeah. now he has a full head of hair. It's crazy. Have drug problems, right? Some of them been in jail. So it's pretty easy to discredit a guy who's been on drugs, maybe in jail or something like that. It's pretty easy. Pretty rotten thing to do. Beginning last November, Rooney began writing a collection of blog posts hinting at Jesse's predation, leading him to a shocking discovery. After I published these articles, I found out from a young man, a very credible young man, that Jesse was fooling around with this young man. And also in 2020, Jesse Lee Peterson accidentally liked gay porn on his Twitter, and it was up for yeah, hours. I remember that. Yep. Yeah, he said that he said that it wasn't him. He was like, "Do you do you think I run my Twitter account? Why would you believe that?" That's what he said. Yeah. That young man was 30-year-old Samuel Arambula, a more recent member of Bond and Jesse's latest known purported victim. I started going to Bond around May 2020. 2020. Uh this was during a coronavirus lockdown. The first guy wasn't a victim. He was not threatened, he was not forced yeah. to do anything. I'm just taking their what they're saying at face value. There, there is still deniability that it even happened at all. But I'm saying like uh, the first guy, not at all. He's not even like claiming yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like yeah. He me turned Jesse, me gay. Yeah. It's everything. As soon as they opened back, they were doing uh, the one guy in there in the striped shirt has like a gash in his head. Yeah, yeah, he's got a big fucking gash in his eyes. Like, yeah, man, somebody like fucked him all the way up. Like, they hit him with a like. <laughs> listen, like talk when talking shit goes wrong. There's okay? two options <laughs> if you don't the want JLP surgery. The JLP mob got him. Balding. Yeah, we better not do this interview. Wait, 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 wait till you see this nigga's forehead, Monty. This shit is ridiculous. Rogaine doesn't work. It does not work. It it's it's a lie. Um, um, live uh, broadcasted. Uh, no in person church for like. Oh, two months or two weeks or something like that. But as soon as it opened up, I went. That was May 2020. Um, the Jesse, what he likes to do in the church is he goes around first timers. He goes around first timers and says, introduce yourself. What's your name? You know, how'd you find us? Where are you here? Um, the first thing I said, I said, my name is Samuel and uh, I'm here because, uh, you know, you helped me a lot. Uh, I, I went and forgave my mom. I went and forgave my dad. I had a lot of anger, and I just dropped that, and I feel way better now. I, I'm Like, I'm, I'm really, you know, growing, and I want to <laughs> thank you for it. Among him are three other alleged witnesses and victims who also chose to tell their stories. Yeah, so it's like, it's a full 30-minute documentary about... Oh. JLP and he's having gay relationships with a bunch of these guys. Yeah. yeah, and and all these dudes have a story, and then after they tell this story, they even show them like trying to like engage Jesse afterwards. And yeah. Be like, Jesse, why won't you talk to me, Jesse? Jesse, and he's just ignoring them. He's just yep. like Jesse. We were friends for over thirty years. Yep. Why won't you talk to me, Jesse? You came on my face. Yes. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will not, they will not, they won't talk to him at all. He just, you know, keeps doing what he's doing. He's like, stop taking out the trash, Jesse, and look at my face. Um, <laughs> I was really hoping you was going to show Monty that guy with the fucking hole in his face. Uh, that's all right. I, I'm sure, I'll, I'll show yeah. it to you. No, 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 I'm, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch that, that whole fucking thing. I'll show you guys uh, the, the leaked footage from when uh, Jesse was trying to interview Ghazi. Because Jesse was, oh. you normally used to controlling interviews, and Ghazi's a yeah. lunatic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know who you're talking about. 
Uh, let's see. Let me find. Where is it? Yeah, that shit. Yeah, when I, when I saw second it, week, look, I'll it, be right back. It, it, it's okay. Weird because like the Jesse Lee information came out, and then like it was like a couple like like, and then right before that was like all the Herschel Walker's kids, and then right before that was the Lauren Bur- Bobert, you know, uh, 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 uh sex escort allegations. Like, yeah, all this stuff came out at like like it was like in the last like two weeks it was like oh and then this conservative person did this and then this conservative person did this and then this conservative person did that. Like, Lord of mercy. Jesse, Jesse uh, being a, a, a closeted homosexual, that would not, if that were true, that would not surprise me. Same here. Yeah, like, 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 there are a lot of, a lot of people I know that, like, so one of the things that I've always been, I've always thought was weird was like, like, I know, like, a lot of, like, a lot of black people are, are very into church, into the Bible. Like, that's, that's a big deal in my, in my community. And, like, I've always thought it was weird when I meet church people, especially black church people that are like super anti the LGBTQ plus community. When I'm just like, yeah, man, like the whole choir, all the dudes in the choir is gay. I don't understand how y'all hate gay people so much. But I'm like, y'all whole choir is gay. All them dudes are gay. Do I hear Monty's like, toilet fr- flushing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, Mon- Monty takes Monty takes colossal sized poop. Do you hear that? You would think, yeah, you would think that there's a bull in your house taking the shit. You know, and the the size of those people. <laughs> like I like I be trying to figure out what the fuck you eat. And I'm like, hey bro, crawfish don't do that by itself. All right. So here's here's uh the the stuff Gazi recorded. Black power everybody, I'm here with Jesse. Say black power. Yes, you guys, I'm just here with this sell out ass nigga, so I'm just gonna talk to him real quick. Make sure to be his page. <laughs> be right back. All right. Like power. Oh, hey, Gigi. Eleven minutes later. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing the interview with you. This is where he's getting kicked out. I'm very out. calm. No, you're not. I'm very calm. You're I think you're like, not calm because I talked about like your a, son not wanting anything to do with you. You're acting like a little female. I'm acting like now. somebody that if I had a child, they'd want my last name. Unlike your child, child want, doesn't want your last name. How does that feel? Is that why you attack African and colonized people? Is it because your mother and father didn't want anything to do with you and they left you with your mother in Alabama, a lynching state, while she went to Chicago and started another family and didn't want nothing to do with you until... He's like, you gotta she go. She you can get a welfare check on your ass, and that's what brought you back to Chicago. Get him out. Get him out. Y'all, it's kicking me out now. It's yeah. over. Peace out. So you can talk shit about black people, black men, black women, black trans people, and black queer people. But when it's time for me to say the things about you, the truth about you, let's talk about money laundering. Let's talk about you. You want to talk about people using financial aid. But you use you use grants. Use mm. people's grants. Mm. Don't touch me. I'm I'm right oh, no, here. I'm touch I'm, don't touch me. Don't touch me. DP, are they gonna touch me, DP? DP, are they gonna touch me? <laughs> are they gonna touch me, DP? No. Fucking love it. I'm gonna let them have the mic. Call the police. They calling the police now. This man is retarded. You are. This man is retarded. Oh, I love it. So mad because your son does not want anything to do with you. Unlike me. You are mad at me because you because your son was not do with you. You want to shit on African and colonized black Where's people every mic? day on this show Where's that is paid for side? by grant money. Thank you. Thank you. That is paid you for by grant money, you. taxpayer dollars. Really? But you want to say that African yeah. and colonized yeah. people are the moochers. Your entire studio is paid by tax dollars and grants. Can we talk about why your black ass can't sell a book? His grant. <laughs> Listen, listen, this is why this is why I never argue with Beyonce fans, okay? Because they're not they they they're not they're not trying to win the fight. It is going for irritation and distance. So you just gotta yeah. just keep going. Just let him have if you've never tried to argue with a gay black, but just don't do it. Just just don't. Just just let him have just <laughs> I just, I will agree with everything. I'm gonna just not word true. That's what wow, that's crazy. Wow. Just, oh, really? Yeah. Damn, man. That's it. All you all you do is give them reaction memes. Don't say nothing else. Okay? Because <laughs> just draw that shit out. Greatest selling book is number 247,000 on Amazon. Bitch, you can't sell a book, girl. Why can't you push the, push the book, bitch? Push the book, bitch. Tell him to push his book. Tell him to push his book. Tell him to push his book. Anyways, uh, let me get my notes. That's how you do it. That's how you have a meeting with a sellout ass coon ass nigga. Thank you for my coffee. Thank Ooh. you for my ticket. Thank you for that check. 
Fuck your studio that is paid by grant money. Okay, taxpayer money. It's not paid for by YouTube because you don't make enough money for YouTube. And then tell your son who changed his last name because he wanted nothing to do with your dirty ass that I said hello. And tell your two parents they didn't want shit. Your father don't even want you. Your son don't want you. Everything from you and to you don't want you, bitch. And I don't want you. Black power, everybody. Thank you for everything. And check that melanin. <laughs> you know, this... <laughs> For the record, I've never seen Gazi once at the black people meetings we have every Wednesday. I've never seen Gazi once. Jesse definitely don't come, but I've never yeah. seen Gazi there. Yeah. yeah. Look, um. After that, I think he can come. Hilarious. Gazi, yeah. yeah, listen, just, just, yeah, okay. That's funny. That's Damn. funny. Yeah, yeah, he, he he gave Jesse the business. Do you think Jesse brought him on under the guise of like, man, I might fuck this dude, or does he not like gay guys that are? <laughs> now I think like that. Him? Now I think that. But before, I just thought he liked to bring in left wing people that were kind of extreme, so he could make them look crazy. Like that's what he would do. And yeah, I just <laughs> brought him on, like, oh, I'm getting some after this interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, you play a little too rough. <laughs> I want to play. Jesse, I mean, if if the allegations were true, Jesse's a top, right? It no. sounds like it in the from the description. All right, all right. Well, I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what, Jesse? Live your truth, bro. Yeah, hey, man. That's listen. what it is. Yeah, they, 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 Jesse, there's nothing wrong with a man wanting to suck some dick, okay? Yeah, there's look, nothing wrong with it. Those Let's people in that interview are trying to embarrass you. I will celebrate you, bro. Let me show yeah, you. What, can I show you a cringy Gazi video where where he's ridiculously cringe? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that, what, you, what you mean? That video we just watched was cringe. Just Don't get twisted. Just because I don't like Jesse Lee Peterson and I agree with a lot of what Gazi said doesn't mean that the way it was delivered wasn't cringe as fuck. This is crazy. Oh shit. Uh oh. Blackhammer.org. Okay. That's the name of Monty's OnlyFans page too, huh. so. <laughs> Fuck you. Let's see, we can get to the Hello Antifa. <laughs> it's me, Gazi. The commander in chief of the Black Hammer organization. Land back. Land back. <laughs> Land back. I heard you had some not so nice things to say about me. I heard you had some nice things to say about my hammers. I heard you had not so nice things to do to one of my members. One of my dear, dear members an African Filipino mother that you doxxed and thought you could get away with it, thought we were going to back down, thought we were going to take it. I would have either been... Take it. Yeah, the people in the background, are they drugged? How are they not laughing their ass off at this ridiculous shit? <laughs> you know, what's with the Joker makeup? That, uh, what is he doing? It looks like he's doing an insane clown posse uh, um, uh, a cosplay. Yeah. At first, I thought he was doing dead presidents, but now I'm just I don't I don't know what this is. I think it's supposed to, I think he's the Joker. I think he's supposed to be uh, Heath Ledger's Joker. No. That's not gonna happen. You messed with the wrong one this time. Yes, oh yes, you did. Oh yes, you did. Cause we don't take it lightly when harm is done to our African and colonized women. And that's why at Black Hammer we say, touch one, touch all, touch one, touch all, touch one, touch all, touch one, touch all. He's so scary and intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. Touch one, touch all. And you touched one of us. So now you, now you gotta touch all of us. I forgot uh, that yeah. Gazi cosplayed as the Wish.com version of the Joker. Yeah, Egghead, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Egghead? It was cracking that kid. You know, uh, there was a point where Rev and Shanny challenged Hannibal and Monty for the actual Mania tag titles. And the last video, I played that Twitter video that Monty tricked Hannibal into watching. 
and it <laughs> almost swayed the votes. <laughs> So we, we're not we're, we're not we're not the champs no more. The, the, no, 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 no. You still are. It was close, but you still okay. are. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, actually, Egghead has a cringerweight title belt. Like he actually has a belt now. Nice. nice. Yeah. Nice. Egghead. They're gonna have to do something about it. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. Glam back. And then you wanted to Here talk it is. about me. You wanted See? to call me. <laughs> Anti-Semitic. Nice. Nice. You wanted to call me an anti-vaxxer because we're against vaccines? You are- yeah, that's what an anti-vaxxer is. Yeah, Someone yeah, against yeah, vaccines. Yeah. So yes, yeah. they would call you we that. Also, we, we also call them Georgians as well. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> call them that as well. Actually, like I think half I think more than half the state has been vaccinated, so it's it's but that that doesn't really mean a lot because like yeah more than half the state is vaccinated but then the majority of the state lives in like 65% of the state's population lives in Atlanta and at a certain point in order to work in Atlanta you had to be vaccinated so yeah it, it doesn't like mean as much as as it seems like you know outside of Atlanta it was like like 15% of the state got vaccinated hmm interesting fuck Atlanta I think our state, let's see, is the state of Washington um, is people with one dose, 85 percent, and mm-hmm. and people fully vaccinated, 76 percent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which, which Georgia? While, while, while you while you have while you're Googling statistics right now, what, what, what is Georgia's rate? Let's I'm curious. See. Let's see. Georgia, it is. Come on, fucker. Egghead, I also like the beard, man. That is, that is, that it's fresh. You look like yeah. you look like fucking Mick Foley. Yeah, that is, that is quite the luscious right. beard. I like it. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. It's... I also want to point out we started giving Egghead compliments and Ben immediately took him off screen. <laughs> um, Georgia is 65% one dose, 57% fully. Okay. Yeah, that's that that's that's about yeah. And and it was it was fifty percent at its peak. So I, I'm I'm surprised that it, it well I'm I'm not surprised that it hasn't gone up much more than that. Yeah. Let me see. State with largest percentage of vaccinated people. California, ironically enough, which is pro- where I most likely got COVID. Probably on the airplane. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Or maybe it isn't. What, 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 what state has the least amount of vaccination coverage? I, I want to guess Alabama. But, I you know. I don't think it I is California, like- though. Um I don't. This is really weird how this chart works, and it does. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but the least, technically, it's not a state. The U.S. Virgin Islands. Well, like hardly anybody lives okay. there. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about U.S. territories in that. Well, like I wasn't thinking like the Mariana Islands or fucking Guam. You know the U.S. US Isle of Samoa, right? Yeah, uh, here's here it is. Uh, the the darker, the more percent, the higher percentage of the population vaccinated. So okay. Wyoming and Alabama are the worst. Uh-huh. Okay, sorry, that's what I thought. I was I was guessing Alabama. I didn't consider Wyoming, but yeah. Oh yes, Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got? Everyone give the stream a like. Uh, if you'd like to contribute to our goal this week, we could really use it because uh, we both have the COVIDs, me and Billy the Fridge, and we're going we're gonna to be doing the long haul. We've got so many episodes in a row coming up here. Yeah. I'm going to do all this shit with Ramona Flowers, y'all. Come on. Yeah. Ramona Flowers. The, uh, the, I'm, I'm curious, uh, uh, Ben Pye. Um, uh, how you feeling right now? Like as as we're doing the show, because you you know you've been you've been powering through. 
Um, I'm tired. Uh, the back of my throat is a little sore. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like a little warm, but it's also warmer than usual outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I j- exhausted is the main thing. I've had I've had muscle aches and I felt exhausted. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. My my experience wasn't uh so like it was. The the first two days, like the, the first day I noticed that I had a cough and I was like, huh, I got this, this this light cough that doesn't seem to go anywhere. Let me get tested. And then I went and got tested. And it was like, oh, yeah, you got COVID. And then <laughs> the first two days of it for me was the worst. It just took a, a really long time for me to get a negative test back. Huh. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it took it, it took about it, it took about two weeks for me to get mm. a negative test back. Yeah. And that was with me doing like home tests and then going to like CVS like every every couple of days. Like going to CVS, going to the hospital, getting tested, getting tested, getting tested. You know, because I had a I had a I was supposed to go on a trip at the time that I had gotten COVID because it, it was right around uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> it was matter of fact, it was right around Valentine's Day, and then the uh, I was supposed to go out of town for Valentine's Day, and then the week after Valentine's Day, I was coming to Seattle for the thousandth yeah. episode of Drunken Peasants, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't have it. Before I uh, made that trip. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And then I found out, I think maybe like three days before the the flight that I, I didn't have COVID. And then I was like, awesome. I don't have COVID. I can rejoin um, the world and do things. And then my car got stolen. And then we came to Seattle. I'm open to the possibility <laughs> that I've had COVID multiple times because I've done so much you stuff. You got the IP flu from Gucci's. <clears throat> Rest in peace. I didn't get anything from Gucci's. When I met Gucci's, we were outside for one thing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like since the COVID thing really started in March of 2020, I've been to so many sporting events and I've been to a couple concerts. I've been on a couple airplanes and a couple trains and, you know, I I've been in close confined places with a bunch of people I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm open to the possibility that I just like had such mild symptoms that I didn't even know. Like I went to Vegas you know, with like, yeah, you know, like tens of thousands of people. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, yeah. when you're in a place like the MGM Grand, there's like thousands of people on the floor of that place, all inside breathing each other's air. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, no, doesn't sound fun. I mean, to me, it's fun. Like Vegas is crazy uh, fun I mean, because normally. That would sound fun. Yeah. But not with R- Ramona Flowers floating around. Ramona? I'm still scared of that shit. Um, check yeah, this I, out. I, was, I, I started to go to a Metallica concert uh, that they had in Atlanta, and I weighed the pros and cons because I was like, do I want to be in a room with a bunch of people that might have COVID? And I, I decided against it, and it sucks because Metallica is one of the few bands that I've never seen live, and I really want to see Metallica live. You know, and, and that was like the last, I think it was like, they did like, I think two more months of American shows and then everything else was overseas after that. Fuck. Yeah. And I could have got like a front row ticket for like a hundred bucks. Well, shit. All right. I'm yeah. not really a Metallica fan. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Like, like at a certain point, white people just decided that they, they wouldn't listen to Metallica no more. And no. No. <laughs> I, was, I, I, I listen. I love Metallica and Justice for All, one of my favorite albums of all time. So I came from the the days where like you couldn't be both a Megadeth and a Metallica fan. That's changed, uh, and they they've actually like collabed, like played a couple live shows together. They like let Dave Mustaine get up on stage with them and play some of his shit from the first album. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Yeah. So they made amends. I just honestly, I don't really like Metallica. I especially don't like what they became, like all of that weird alternica, like load yeah. and reload and 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 drink my load and Saint Anger, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. the memory. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I stopped around load with Metallica. Same here. Yeah, load was like I was like, what did they turn into? They're like alternica mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I just, I have loved everything that they've ever done. And also, King Nothing is one of my ten favorite songs. That's an awful song. 
Love King Nut. No. Nope. I, 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 if I, if I, if I, I, I told myself for my, my last two MMA fights in Georgia, I, w- I want that to be my walkout song. Jesus, pick <laughs> something with Cliff Burton in it at least. He was the best. Nope. He was the best member of Metallica. No, nope. I mean, yeah, look, look I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm saying that I would like King Nothing to be my walkout. Why don't you just pick the. Side- why don't you just pick the memory m- remains with the old lady singing in it while you're at it? I don't want the old lady singing. I want I want King Nothing. Shut I, up, I Teddy that. Rubskin. Metallica the, sucks. The, uh, well, um, <laughs> as, a, as a sidebar, I discovered the greatness of Megadeth because of ECW in the '90s because they wow. used to always play Trust uh, in like in their like commercial breaks for like their uh, upcoming pay per view. Yeah, they had. They had Megadeth perform live on WCW one time. It was kind of bad, though, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but yeah, I was excited. I was I was excited when that happened. Um, I m- I met the guys from Megadeth back in the day. Like, there's been several incarnations of them, but nice. I met I met the one. It was Dave Mustaine, uh, Dave Dave Ellison, Nick Menza, and Marty Friedman. Marty Fr- right. Mar- Marty Friedman was like. There, like it was, it was kind of up in the air who was better between Dave Mustaine and Marty Friedman. Uh, somebody, somebody in the chat says Corn is arguably better than Metallica. I don't think it's arguable. I think Corn is better. Than it's Metallica. so different. Yeah. It's hard to compare. Yeah. I don't think it's that hard to compare. Like as musicianship, I don't think it's that hard to compare mu- musicianship. That would be like me saying is like Prince is a better musician than Miley Cyrus. It's like just because what they do is different, it's still music. I can compare. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a weird comparison I, 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 to me. Right. Yeah, it, it it it's it's I like I said I I think corn is is, is more talented. Yeah, I agree with that. It's so different. It's like one is like like corn was like experimental. It like almost created like a new genre, like the new metal genre. Yeah. And then uh yeah. and then like Metallica and Megadeth and and all of them they were like they were like uh like thrash like speed metal. You know. Yeah. yeah. It was so different. Yeah, you can still compare music, though. Like, you can compare it, but I'll I'll compare the theme song of Perfect Strangers with Beethoven, and like people will laugh at yeah. me. You know, Beethoven what? is better. Hey, hey, look, listen, don't don't look, listen. Beethoven was dope, but the theme to Perfect Strangers was amazing. Sometimes okay? the world hey. looks perfect, nothing can be <laughs> no. arranged. Sometimes oh, yeah. you just get a feeling yeah, like, you like you need some, some kind of change. Kind of change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been no, 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 look, if you compare Beethoven to the Sanford and Son theme, Sanford and Son theme, theme wins. Oh, oh no. yeah, Sanford and Son theme is, is, is not to your musicianship. Yeah, yeah, someone just mentioned it. I'll hit that with <laughs> the Mr. Belvedere theme song because it was. Uh, Ooh. It's it's that one guy. He's a famous like jazz musician. I can't remember his name. Uh, what was his name? Yeah, He's did, dead. Let's see who did Mr. Belvedere. Mr. Let's see. His yeah, name and, was. And uh, don't tell me the Leon Redbone. Theme Leon theme Redbone. Great. Everybody knows the lyrics to the Ducktales theme. Yo, the Duck the Ducktales theme is the greatest Disney song ever made. Now uh, Leon Redbone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's old school. Like his voice is very recognizable. Yeah, he's um, on my uh, Christmas playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does a lot of that. Greatest hits. On I think Christmas he did. Uh, it's cold out, yeah. baby. It's cold outside. I think he's done that yeah. before. Yeah, that's one of one of the ones on there. Um, and yeah. him and yeah. Easy E's "Merry Motherfucking Christmas." At, at random sidebar, you know who did the Sanford and Son theme song? Who? 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 No, who? Fucking Quincy Jones did that. Oh. Really? That's, yeah, so good. All right. Yeah. Quincy, Quincy Jones did that shit. The guy who produced uh, like all of like Michael Jackson's off the wall album, Thriller album, yeah, uh, bad album. Yeah, he did that. I he talked did to stuff. he did he did that and he did in the heat of the night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Heat of the oh, night I mean, he did. Uh, you know, wasn't you know, he like you know what else he did? He did he Fresh did Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, I think his son did. Did yeah. he do that? Or did his yeah, son do he that? did I it. Think, he yes. did it. I watched uh, this documentary. Like I watched this thing uh, where they did a reunion. For Fresh Prince of Bel Air, it was before Will I'm Smith slapped it. Chris Rock, and yeah. uh, and they they talked about how it got put together, and Quincy Jones like spearheaded that, um, mm-hmm. and yeah, and they even got the original Aunt Viv to come back too, so they had both yeah. Aunt Vivs, oh, nice. which is crazy because nice. they hated each other. 
Yeah, I yeah. thought she hated everybody. She, she did, yeah, but she, she did. came she, back. She, she, yeah, she she was getting into it with with management all the time. I mean, uh, with the showrunners all the time. Uh, yeah, that, it was yeah, yeah. I would tell. I, I've always wanted to watch that re- reunion special. And I haven't watched it yet. It's sad because Uncle Phil isn't there. Yeah, yeah. James Avery died. The yeah. voice, the voice of the Shredder. Yes. Yeah. Yep. yep. I, I've been I've been watching all those old TMNTs with my with my son. And it's hilarious because once you know, you can't unknow. Mm-hmm. It's so great. Yeah, Cheers theme is dope as fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah. That um, one night I was at a dueling piano bar, and I requested yeah. the Cheers theme, and I was like, "They're yeah. not gonna know this," and but they know everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, as a matter of fact, I, I think I can still play the Cheers theme if I could turn my computer around. I would play it right now. I don't have to speak to play the Cheers theme right now. Yeah, that was. That was yeah. Cheers. That was yeah. The che- Cheers theme is is top tier television themes. Like yeah. that might yes. be like top five, top five all time. See, I I kind of right. feel like when they switch to, there was a time where when a TV show had a theme song, it kind of told you almost like what the show was about. Yes. And yeah. then and then Seinfeld I think ruined that with the bam 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 bam. Yeah, I was telling Monty, I said, like, what we should start doing on the shit show is we should take a bunch of shows like like Heroes and Lost and fucking, you know, that don't have actual words. Yeah. And then we put a, we, we write lyrics that explain <laughs> what those shows are about. <laughs> I, I've, I've pitched this idea to Monty quite a few times. I think that shit would be dope as fuck. So we like take a bunch of shows that like Law and Order that doesn't have that doesn't have lyrics, and then we just add lyrics that describe <laughs> what the show is about. There's an <laughs> anal retent to comedian. <laughs> he lives in New York with his friends. Yeah. I don't know, like <laughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah. I love how Family Matters was a perfect Strangers uh, spinoff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it, and it just went on to last for like a hundred years. A whole bunch of family, uh, the Family Matters cast is starting to come out now and say Jaleel White was difficult as fuck to work with. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, when and they cast... Jaleel White said, did I do that? Well, well, here's the thing. That character was not supposed to be the main character of that show. All of a sudden, this one character picked up all this steam and everyone else's plans went out the window. They were all secondary characters to Steve Urkel eventually. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, no, nobody was like, man, let me see what, what's, what's going on with Aunt Rachel this week. Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Do, you okay? guys re- do you guys remember, she, she uh, do you guys remember the, uh, that the episode where like there were like racists at their high school and someone put the N word on, uh, what's her yeah. name? Uh, Laura's yeah. locker. Uh-huh. I, yeah. Yeah. I had never seen, like, it was weird. To, they were like, how can we get someone to say it without actually saying it on TV? Yeah. Yeah, I I remember that episode very well as a, as a child. I, I remember hanging out with some of my friends from up north, uh, 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 from like Minneapolis, and they were just like, I can't believe that people would, that like like they they were like blown away at the idea of like people doing racist shit like that. And I was like, man, I grew up in the South my whole life. There it is. is yeah. 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 I, re- I remember I remember this episode. Yeah. yeah. And it was the episode where uh fucking um uh Eddie Winslow got pulled over by the racist cop. Yep. Yeah, I remember. It, it was yeah, Gilbert yeah, Godfrey. Why? Right? Wasn't it? Oh no. No, it, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, no, that was a different it thing. Was, yeah. It was I the, I forget the guy who played that cop. Uh but I remember that episode too. As somebody who has also been pulled over by the cops many times in my life, I was like, people were like, I can't believe this nasty man. He just described my Tuesday. I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this shit happens all the time. <laughs> like, look, ask, like, like, if my girl was here, she'll tell y'all. Anytime, I, anytime the police pull behind me, I go into like a, a mild panic attack. Like, I'd be yep. like, all right, shit. Like, the cop pulled me over, and I just, I, I have turned down streets I didn't want to turn down just because I, because the cops was behind me. You know you what know? it was that I was thinking about? It was an episode of A Different World where Gilbert Godfrey was a cop that pulled some of the characters. You remember that show, Different World? Yes, I love yeah. A Different World. Yeah. Okay, it used to come on after the Cosby Show. It was a Cosby yeah. Show spinoff. Lisa Bonet was yep. originally one of the main characters. Yep. Yeah, until she started. Looks like Jada Pinkett was on it, too. I didn't remember that. Yeah, Jada Jada, Jada was on the show. Tupac was on the show. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. It's a different world. Yeah. yeah. That was a Cosby creation. Yeah. Yeah. Two different theme songs, too. 
Yeah. yeah, I didn't. I didn't know Hillman was wasn't a real school for a long time. <laughs> I thought. I thought, like, I thought oh, I'm going to Hillman when I, I get like, I, Hillman is the HBCU. I'm definitely going to. <laughs> read all these fine ass light skinned girls that go yep. here. Dwayne <laughs> Wayne. Making them fries. Yeah. <laughs> yes, different world was when Denise was in college. Yeah. Yep. What had happened was like Lisa Bonet had gotten real problematic on the set of the Cosby Show. And that, and I, after they, like her and, and Bill Cosby was just having issues all the time. And then they eventually like wrote, I think they just wrote her off the show, but then they kept the show going because it was, uh, uh, it was, it was very popular. But at that time, the Cosby show, I think was the highest rated show on, I don't know if it was sitcom show or if it was just the highest rated show on NBC at the time. Yeah. So it coming right after a different world ended up, you know, I mean, a different world coming on afterwards meant that it stayed on for a long time. And uh, funnily enough, you know, the Cosby show ended up losing his ratings because fucking Martin started coming on. Oh, and my God. Yep. Yeah. Well, Martin um, was the shit. it was kind of like how Blossom would have never become a hit show if it wouldn't have had the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on before it. But that ended yeah. up happening. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, drop yeah. one of those bombs for six. That was the finest white girl I had seen oh, at, six, at, at that point. Six. I forgot about yeah. six. Damn. Yeah, yeah. She, she was she was the finest white girl on sitcom TV until Topanga on Boy Meets World. Yep. Yep. Billy See? would agree with you See? there. I don't. We're on the uh... same page. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like everybody like Topanga was like so she was, was top tier. I used to she watch uh, I used to watch Charles in Charge, and there was Nicole Eggert on Charles Nicole in Charge. Eggert. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's who I yeah. had a crush on. What was? Have you ever seen? There was a movie she did with Corey Feldman where they had a <laughs> sex scene, and I and every time I see that movie, I'm like, yo, I, I think they're really fucking. <laughs> who, can somebody in the chat tell me the name of this movie? It's a movie with Corey Feldman and Nicole Eggert, and, hmm. and and there's a sex scene. Somebody, somebody drop that shit in the chat. Let me know what it was called. <laughs> who was your Ben? Who was your TV TV crush? I will, like I said, uh, Nicole Eggert was one of them. Uh, I don't okay. know, but but then, like, also, you know, um, I had a crush on um, Rena Sirtis, too. Oh, yeah. 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 Diana Troy? Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah, we all had that. Like, because she, she just had, like, there was no extra detail. She she might as well be naked. You can fill it in. Right. So, like, what Nicole about, Eggert about? was my TV crush that was, like, my own age. And then, uh, well, I also liked uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen back in the day on on uh, oh, yeah, Saved by sure. the Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that whole Saved by the Cat, Saved by the Bell cast, all all of all of those women were just like you know, yeah. uh, 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 fuck yeah, I can't, I can't, God, I can't think of any of their names now. There was um, uh, there who's... was Lark Voorhees. Yeah. And uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, God, what was what was Jesse's name? Her, it was uh, Elizabeth oh, I don't Berkeley. Know any of their real names. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, everybody in the chat, drop y'all TV crushes. I'm curious. I, I want, I want to judge you by your crushes that you drop. Monty, who was yours? Who was your TV crush? I don't know who my TV crush was. Um, I don't know that I had a TV crush. Like my first, my movie crush was a. Uh, uh, wow, shit. Uh, um, woman from the labyrinth. Oh, why am I blanking? Oh, oh Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer Connelly and career opportunities changed my yes, life. Yes, yes. Yep, okay. I remember. Yeah. That's the that's Good the answer. movie that takes place in the Target store, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. They're trapped in the Target. Yep. The, the movie the movie's shit, but goddamn, she looks good. Yeah, in that whole movie. She was part of the reason oh, why I like wow. the Ang Lee Hulk movie so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's I could just interesting. I could just sit back and look at that woman all day. Like I don't. I'll I'll pay to see it in the theater. I don't care. Ooh, Alyssa Milano from he said Alyssa uh, Lowbrow Justice says Alyssa Milano from Charmed. I would have said uh, Alyssa Milano from uh, uh, Who's the Boss? Yeah, yeah when I was Who's younger, the boss? That was that, that was somebody. Yeah. Why is Alyssa it that Milano? Tony Danza needs to have his real name in every role he plays? It does can he not <laughs> learn that he yeah. has a different name? And he's like he's like Joey Lawrence and and Joey uh, Joey from yeah. Friends. Yeah, you know like yeah. they, they 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 can only re- they only know that name. They can't respond to anything else. Yeah. Yeah, da- uh, Daphne Moon just called the character Joey. Daphne Moon from Frasier. Zach. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, and you know what? She was one of the Benny Hill ladies back in the day. Like if you watch like the yes, old Benny Hill show, 
when, yeah. when she was probably like in her early 20s, she was one of the ladies that like it was kind of a, a goofy, pervy show. And there'd always be like half naked ladies running around chasing them at the end. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what? Go back. Uh, cheers. When Kirstie Alley was first on. Yeah. How about yeah, her that, as the I, Vulcan in the Star Trek movie? Yeah. And uh, what was it? Wrath of Khan, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, Rath, yeah, Rath of Khan. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, that's that was good. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, oh yeah, I was yeah. Topanga was dope. Uh, I liked, uh, I liked Myra Monkhouse from Family Matters. All uh, right, like Steve, All Steve, right. Steve yes. the, 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 that woman that loved, like she was in love with Steve Urkel. Oh, she, yeah, I remember that. Want, and yes, Steve didn't want exactly. nothing to do and with her. And she was like, oh, yeah. the actress that played her was good looking, but they made her look all nerdy. Was that yeah. how that worked? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was also uh, Theo Huxtable's girlfriend for oh. a chunk of episodes on. Uh, she was, she played Justine on the Cosby Show for a while. Yep. So yeah, I yeah, saw her. Her and Topanga would would top tier. I saw yeah, Ira Monkhouse. That was my. That was. Yeah, that was. She was bait. She didn't know it, but she was bait. She ended up Crash. dying. She 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 died because like she had. I think she died of breast cancer. She- um, in in like the the late nineties or the early two thousands. Oh, I cried like a baby. I was like, You remember I, uh remember when Dana Plato died? Dana she, Plato. She was the sister her. from different strokes. Oh yeah, I do, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Freak TV says the yellow power ranger awakened my Asian fetish. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, Jared Genesis has a theory because because the Yellow Power Ranger died in a car accident. Um, yeah. Jared Genesis has a theory that the Green Ranger secretly had her murdered. He's insane. Oh uh, but you know that I mean, there's a Power Ranger curse though. Like a bunch of people that have been on that show have like just died under like awkward or mysterious circumstances. Sure. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird fucking show. Jessica Biel on Seventh Heaven. That's yeah, great answer. Um, yeah, Jessica Biel all day, every day. What about? Did you like Sarah Michelle Gellar in in Buffy? Yeah, yeah. She, I wasn't wasn't all that into her, but I never actually watched yeah. the show. I just remember it would like come on, and she was really yeah. popular. Yeah, I, I I also remember that it would come on, and she was popular. Yeah. Uh, Zing Butcher Mark says, uh, Mars, though, fuck, like that woman and whatever she's in." Oh, you, uh, Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell, yeah. Okay, have you watched The Good Place? No, I haven't seen it yet. I'll be right back, as a, guys. As a, so first off, as an atheist, I feel like you should watch The Good Place. And for no other reason, just I think it would just be objectively hilarious for you to watch. But it's also like genuinely a fantastic show. Uh, okay. uh, Zing Butcher says uh, 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 Xena, uh, uh, Lucy Lawless. What do you think about Lucy Lawless, Monty? Oh, Lucy Lawless? I'm, I'm, yeah, hell yeah. Okay. I'm in. I'm, I'm going back through y'all answers right now. So I'm just, uh, let's see who else we got. Uh Boxer Wing says Luke Skywalker first movie crush. Okay, all right, all right. I, I, yeah, I, I, I think a lot of people crushed on uh, uh, a young Mark Hamill back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I uh, see it. Uh, jo- Jocula Jellyfish was good. Jocula says Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers stayed hot for a, like just an insanely long time. I think she's still kind of hot now for like an eighty year old. Yeah, yeah. Is she eighty? Yeah, I, I don't know how old she is. Yeah, let's see. Let me look her up. Yeah. Let's find out. I'm, I'm checking Listen, out. Uh, uh, if you're a '90s kid, your first crush was the Pink Ranger. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. She she ended up being that chick. Like like I I actually watched I think the first season of Felicity just because she was on it. So I, <laughs> yeah, I I cannot undersell the level of disappointment that I had <laughs> watching that show. Um, oh, the black the black girl I used to be on, Allie McBeal. I don't remember her name, but her I used to have a big crush on her. Yeah, I, I got pictures of her. She's yeah, Suzanne Summers is is, is still doing it. Okay, still uh, bees bees the Spurg says seven of nine. Yeah, uh, Jerry Ryan is is yeah that that you know the 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 way they 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 fit her into the seven of nine suit. Like I I watched a bunch of episodes of uh oh what's that show she's on Burn Notice a fucking uh it what? fringe she's she's on like some some high show. And it shit, hold on. And I, I I watched a bunch of episodes just because she was on it. Jerry Ryan. I don't I don't know. I Jerry don't know Ryan? Yeah. Seven of nine. 
Yeah, seven yeah. nine. Yeah. What was that? What was the heist show that she was on? I don't remember that. She was on some like oh god damn it, what's the name of this fucking show? You know, she, she was married to a senator in Illinois. Yeah, and, and she came out Any with a bunch predictions of predictions for SCOTUS rulings to come, gay marriage, oh. birth control, oh prayer in school, we'll churches oh. donating to politicians, others. We'll get to that in just a second. But yeah, she was married to a senator, a Republican senator that uh, in Illinois that ended up like not running for reelection because of a scandal with her that she was involved in. Like, she leaked a bunch of info on him, and that was the Senate seat that Obama ended up getting and then running for president oh, wow. right after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven of nine is part of the reason that Barack Hussein Obama yeah. became the president yeah. of the United States. Wow. See, that, right. that bitch was great for a whole bunch of reasons. <laughs> so someone asked the, the SCOTUS thing. You know, SCOTUS made another ruling today that's mm-hmm. insane. It's out of Washington State, actually, is where it happened. Um, this... this uh, High school football coach, yes. public football yes. coach. Yeah, uh-huh. he got he got fired a while back, and he he took it all the way up to the highest court, and they ruled that uh, you can you can make kids pray in school. Oh, wow. Here it is. Welcome back. The conservative majority Supreme Court weighed in on another high profile case Monday, school prayer. The justices held that a public high school football coach was within his First Amendment rights to kneel in prayer on the field after a game. Skylar Henry reports. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of a former high school football coach who sued his Washington State School District claiming it violated his constitutional rights when it told him to stop praying with students. Yeah, he's leading, he's leading prayer uh, for a bunch of public school kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah Monty, this, this was going to be... Uh, this was going to be a fair file months ago when this story first came across uh, Yeah. Came across my timeline. Yeah, this this coach would like pray. It was like, was he praying after the games? Uh, after after the the games after their victories? I don't know. Normally they'd pray before. Um, yeah. See, I played Are football when I was younger, but I I went to a Catholic school, so we prayed all the time. Yeah. It wasn't a big deal. But- are the students forced to participate? Do you have um, no? So, so I think if if my memory serves me correct in this story, the the students were not like I think the coach said, "Look, if you want to pray with me, cool. If you don't want to pray with me, that's also cool. You know, this is only for the people that that this if this fits into your lifestyle and you want to." I part feel of the event. I, I but, feel like it's implied. Yeah, yeah, but there were some parents I think that said. They felt like their their uh, sons were getting less playtime because they wouldn't participate in the prayer. Yep. Shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I, I believe in. It, I believe that that if, if I'm if my memory serves me correctly, that was the story. I was going to talk about this on the shit show months ago. We did. I just you okay. Know, yeah. Games. I think it's a great ruling for America. Writing the six three majority opinion, Justice Neil Gorsuch stated. The Constitution and the best of our traditions counsel mutual respect and tolerance, not censorship and suppression. So I feel like they're going to erode separation of church and state. I feel like they're going to, they might come for uh, same-sex marriage again. Yeah, Um, Yeah, I'm worried about all that. But to challenge that easily, like, let's bring some, you know, prayer mats and have some Muslim. Yeah, they won't won't stand for that. Yeah, yeah, like have have, have a bunch of uh, uh, teachers pray to the East every morning. uh, And then... And then use this ruling once you sue. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah make, them, make them say the make them say the quiet part out loud. Like, yeah. like let that be the strategy. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And non-religious views alike. People of faith or no faith, everybody has the same rights, and that's what the you know Constitution is all let's about. Prove it. It. Let's prove it because I agree with that. Everybody should have the same fucking rights. So okay. let's prove it. Minority leader, Americans, like, you, but you you know if that coach was a fucking Satanist, yeah. right? Or like a Satanist? Satan worshiper, Let they would have shot them. They would have they would have shot the shit down. They would have been like, no separation of church and state. I'd be like, oh, oh, okay, so okay. Well, this ruling says different. Yeah. McConnell, who helped install the court's new conservative justices, expressed his approval. Chalk one up for the Supreme Court. Turtle man. This latest ruling wait, from wait, the con- wait 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 go go back go back Ben go back to uh, uh, um, to uh, 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 Mitch McConnell just real quick just right there look 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 how happy he is 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a smile, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's a smile. smile. Yeah. That's how he smiles. Yeah, he is celebrating right now. That motherfucker yeah. is happy as shit. He's going to be drinking baby blood. <laughs> this latest ruling from the conservative majority court moved the needle further toward expanding individual and corporate religious rights and narrowing the separation between church and state. Justice Sonia Sotomayor alluded to the blurred lines in her dissent, cautioning the decision sets us further down a perilous path than forcing states to entangle themselves with religion, with all of our rights hanging in the balance. Bremerton School uh, District yes. said it was following the law and it would work with its attorneys to remain a welcoming, inclusive environment for all. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so essentially, essentially, you know, I, I believe that means that they can put prayer back in public schools if they want. Yeah. They might be yeah. able to. I, I, I look, listen, I, I want them to go for it all. Go for, like, gay marriage. Go for interracial marriage. Just go for it all. Like, just do it. I want them to try to erode. Just, just destroy everything. Just get rid of everything. Let me play, yeah. uh, let me play Egghead's, uh, thing. He said, and yet Justice Thomas won't touch Loving versus Virginia. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why. It couldn't be that it wouldn't threaten his interracial marriage with his white, with his white wife. <laughs> Did I do? Did I? Did that sound like Egghead? That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Okay. I gotta see your tub first before I know. Uh, <laughs> you saw my tub and it is clean. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. it is. Like also, Ben Pye has like a whole bunch of like black ass hair products, and I was like, "Did you?" I, at first, I was like, "Monty, is this your shit?" And he was like, "No, that's Ben's." It's like Ben, why you got all this tea tree oil? He was just like. <laughs> Because it makes my shit luxurious. I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's uh, here's something about the abortion ban in Louisiana, actually. Uh, hey everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Abortions can resume in Louisiana, at least for the time being. Yeah, at least right now. And today, a judge issued a temporary restraining order blocking Louisiana from enforcing its abortion ban. And Jay Cunningham's joining us now on what this all means. It seems pretty confusing. That is confusing. There's a lot to it. So Louisiana has three abortion clinics, one in Shreveport, Baton Rouge, and one here in New Orleans. All three stopped performing abortions after Roe v. Wade was overturned Friday. And that's because of Louisiana's trigger law, which banned abortions automatically once that ruling came down. And just to be clear, Louisiana's trigger law has been in place since 2006, but it was expanded last week to allow exceptions of medical futility and for ectopic pregnancies. But today, abortion right advocates fought back, filing a lawsuit arguing the state's trigger law is vague and unclear. That state and local officials gave conflicting statements about what trigger laws are in effect and what procedures, if any, are prohibited after that Supreme Court ruling. Soon after that lawsuit was filed today, Orleans Parish Civil District Court Judge Robin Jeruso blocked enforcement of the state's trigger ban. I actually reached out to the Center for Reproductive Rights, which filed the lawsuit on behalf of the Shreveport clinic. They told me this means abortions are allowed, at least for now. I also spoke with Stephen. What world are we living in? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I, I, I it, it feels like we're in a, we're all in an episode of like Black Mirror on Netflix. Yeah. Like that's what it feels like. They, like it doesn't, it doesn't like none of it feels real, but yet it is also very real. So in, in, uh, um, yeah, uh, I think in, in Georgia, uh, with uh, our abortion laws, I think that like uh, when a woman is pregnant, uh, she is allowed to. And I don't know how this would work, but they, they've allowed the woman to put the man on child support the, the minute she recognizes that she's pregnant. Now, I don't know how you verify who the child belongs to, like who right. the father is. But you can put that uh, alleged child, the child's father, on child support in Georgia. That's interesting. Mm. I saw a lot if, of if you if if you saw the amount of like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Ron Herschel run signs in Georgia, you would be terrified. I am. I I saw yeah, that yeah, a lot of yeah. states weren't doing the exception for like the R word and and incest, yeah, which is yeah. like they're gonna. <laughs> They're gonna force uh, victims of that to carry children. I yeah. don't understand. Oh, yeah. It's 
Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Like Missouri uh, um, was one of those states. It's just like, yeah, we got, we don't, we don't care if the R word takes place. You know, yeah. you having that baby because God wants you to have that baby. Yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw, I, I, I've, I've been seeing a handful of memes floating around where it's like, so in the state of Missouri, uh, the doctor performing the, an abortion can get up to a hundred years. <clears throat> the woman can, uh, the woman having the abortion can get ten to twenty years. The man that commits the R word on the woman would only be eligible for up to, to five years. That's, that's crazy. so fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. That's like if the, yeah. this is an episode of Black Mirror. This is absolutely yeah. an episode of Black Mirror. <clears throat> it's yeah. weird. Yeah, like, like Trump our government got a, is saying women are are just fucking trash. Trump Fuck. got elected, and and a lot of people underestimated the damage he could do. Like even me yeah. at first, I never thought he'd get three Supreme Court justices in in one term. Yes. I never thought that would happen. Also, yes. like, the other... Because Trump was so crazy, there there were people that kind of overcorrected for his craziness on the other side, and it, it got even crazier and more extreme on, on the left to, like, a degree that I'm uncomfortable with. But yeah. now it's... Like, and then COVID came and made all of that even crazier. Like, COVID yeah. made, like, like violent crime and gun crime and homelessness and all this shit are, are so much higher now after COVID. It's almost like COVID made everyone just lose their shit collectively. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. Like, this this whole thing is just... Yeah, I, like I said, I hope they keep going. I, I want to see how far they push it. I'm like, let's you know, like have every, like every, make every woman that gets pregnant be 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 forced to have that child, and also let everybody in America be allowed to do concealed carry without a permit. And yeah, just do it. Just throw it all. Just just throw all the shit into the fan, and let's just see what happens. Just total, <laughs> just just total anarchy and chaos. It's just like yeah, Cause look, because the reality is for a lot of people, like politics. And I was having this conversation with a friend of mine who is very rich. Uh, Monty knows who, and yes. uh, uh, we were we were having a conversation. He was like, "See, that's why I just don't pay attention to politics. All it's going to do is make me mad." And I was like, "Yeah, but like they're banking on you not paying attention to politics yes. because most most people don't pay attention to politics because it doesn't they don't see the day to day effects that it can have on their lives." Yeah, and I'm like, "Yeah, so now now you can see." Like, yeah, man, we need to pay attention to some shit. Yeah. and also we need to do a better job of holding our elected officials. Uh, uh, accountable for things because you know the Democrats have had more than enough opportunities to yeah, codify they, they Roe could have been working. Yeah, and then, like, what the like, fuck like, were y'all doing? Here like, they like, are. You can't, be, like, you, you can't, you can't tell me that like, oh, we need to vote a certain way, and then we vote that way. You get in the office, you have a majority, and then you still don't affect any change, and then you want to turn around and email me to loan you some more money so that you can get reelected in twenty twenty two. You can go fuck yourself in twenty twenty two. What you can go do? Yep. Preach, preach. Yeah, uh, uh, hashtag always, listen always, to Hannibal always, on that one, y'all. Yeah, always looking, always looking at itself. Says politicians running hustles on us, always. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, look at this man. Look at look at the South. Look at that. Yes. Like, and I think in in Texas, if you get pregnant, like not only can you not have an abortion in Texas, but I think they made it illegal. For the mother to travel state lines to have an abortion, I don't so know how they could do that because you think I, that... I, have, I have no idea. Either. Okay, you know, I think I think what they do is they would play like the Alamo theme, and if the baby, uh -huh. if the fetus responds, then they know it's from Texas. <laughs> from the heart of Texas. Yes. Yes. How you know? <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, and these man. these are the good states. Right here. <laughs> I used to live in New Mexico too. Um, it's 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 interesting to me that New Mexico is is on that list uh, yeah. uh, of the of the state because I would have I would have guessed that New Mexico would have leaned because a lot a lot of Latino people are starting to vote conservatively. Yeah, you know, uh, New Mexican Hispanics have been in new mexico before new mexico was even when it was still part of mexico like there are families that have been there that go back to even that so it's it's a different type of population 
Like you'll, mm-hmm. uh, it, New Mexico is very mountainous too, and you can go up and find these little towns uh, up in the mountains where like n- nobody's like people speak Spanish more than they speak English. You know, mm-hmm. like hardly yeah. any English at all. Uh, like they can speak it, but they just don't do it. Yeah, um, like Gwinnett County, like Gwinnett County in Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like they speak way more Spanish than they speak English. Yeah, uh, I remember when I uh, when I moved to New Mexico, like right, they first made medical weed legal there, like right away. Yeah, it's like a surprisingly progressive place, but you know, we had like Republican governors and shit. We we had Gary Johnson as the governor there too at one point. Remember him, mm-hmm. Gary Johnson? He's the yes. libertarian presidential candidate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk about throwing your vote away, huh? <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk about voting with your beliefs and nothing else, huh? It's like all those people that voted for like Mike, like Michael Bloomberg and fucking U.S. Isle of Samoa. It's like, man, there's y'all also just... more Navajo than there are white people in New Mexico. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's there's there's two states in the U.S. with a non-Anglo majority. It's New Mexico and Hawaii. All right. Uh, but New Mexico only has like three million people in the whole state. As that 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 was the, three million people is the is the was the is the was the population of Atlanta when yeah. I moved here in two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Albuquerque is probably like five hundred thousand. Uh, so it's not huge. Right. Everything's really spread out there though, because there's so much land. And there's not a lot of water to get in the way, so things are all like really spread apart. Does the uh, does the Rio Grande go go up that go up yep. that far? It goes right okay. through the middle of Albuquerque. Okay. Yep. Um, it it's yeah, uh, there's parts of it in the middle of New Mexico that are like very dried up. Like you probably walk across it in some places. Yeah. Al, Al Dampler in the chat says the South is dog shit. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Yes, I've lived in the South my whole life. It it is. It's like you get good you get good food, buxom women, and and you know like I'll you know and and then we're taking away reproductive rights. You know, I didn't know. I just found out today that Amy Comey Barrett is from fucking New Orleans. I didn't really? know that. Yeah, I didn't wow. know that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you know, you know. I'm ashamed. Go go, go team. You know. And then, mm. like I said, George, Georgia's gonna fuck around, and then, like Stacey Abrams is gonna be the first black governor, you know, the first female black governor in the United States, and then turn around, and we're gonna have Herschel Walker be a, a senator. <laughs> just like it's like just the the win loss ratio, it just never like it just the cost value is is ridiculous. There's actually a, yeah. there's actually a good chance that Brian Kemp is gonna be Stacey Abrams again, though. Um, mm. That that there's a very there's a realistic chance of that because there's a lot of uh, and I was I was asking I was having a conversation with my attorney who is a good old Georgia boy and I was asking him how Trump supporting Georgians could vote so overwhelmingly for Brian Kemp knowing that Donald Trump feels like he and Brad Raffensperger were directly responsible for him losing the presidential election and he said that most conservative Georgians know that Trump is full of shit with his election claims. <laughs> um, you know, but they're still willing to vote for him because they feel like he represents the best uh, <laughs> best option available. It's and, all tribalism. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, look, listen, listen, I know a lot of people that like, 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 like Monty and I, we talk about it all the time. Like, I, I may have voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but I did not want to vote no, for Joe sure. Biden and Kamala Harris. Same here. Like, like, when, like when when can we dismantle the two party voting system? That's what yeah. that's what we really need. But that's why we that's why we need to stop viewing third party voting as wasted. Like a lot of people want to be the person that picks the winner. That's why they never vote for someone they might agree with even more. So yeah. we need to get more people in the debates so they can be heard and on every yeah. ballot. Like if you know if you're pulling a certain amount, you should be on every ballot. Um, yeah. yeah, and and then. Yeah, and, and then normalize voting third party. That's the only way it's going to happen. If people just mm-hmm. keep voting for one of the two because they think one's going to win and they're like, oh, lesser of two evils, it'll never happen. We'll always be in yeah. the... Um, I wanted to mention something unrelated. Uh, when So, like, VidCon is in Anaheim. It's, like, right near Disneyland. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was walking around probably, like, three blocks away from 
Part of the reason why there's still few people in New Mexico is because the U.S. cut off water access to the Colorado to stop people like the yep. Navajo and Apache from ever resisting federal forces. Yeah. I hope you Navajo mm -hmm. and Hopi farmed the Colorado watershed. You know, and, and Albuquerque has no suburbs. Every, like, all around Albuquerque is reservation land. Like, if you leave the city oh. of Albuquerque, you're on a reservation. Oh, wow. And that's all how right. it is through a lot of New Mexico. If you're, like, out in the boonies, you know, uh, you're likely on either federal or native land. Um, but anyway, mm -hmm. I was walking around VidCon, like, a, a few blocks away from VidCon. And I walk by this bus stop. And one of the guys at the bus stop goes, are you, he said, are you drunken peasants, is what he said to me. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Uh, and he was like, oh, yeah, I know who you are. I work for YouTube in, like, the streaming department, and I'm very aware of you. Um, and I, I talked to him for a little while, and he gave me his card and his email address and everything. So now I have a direct contact with some, you, like, oh, actual nice. YouTube employees. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yes. So the, 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 the next time your channel gets struck, you know who to call? I Maybe. Well, I was complaining to him about how... Like, our live streams never have a green dollar sign while we're live streaming. It always turns yeah. yellow during the stream. I have to dispute it. And then maybe, like, nine hours later, it's finally monetized. When we get a substantial amount of our views from live streaming, those should be mm -hmm. monetized. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. We're going to wrap it's it up in a few here. Um because I need to lay down. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I bet. I bet. I know. My, like, like Ben Pye is out here spreading his COVID to all you sons of bitches in the chat. Just yeah. so we can make sure that we gave you guys a show. And we're doing a... First off, this is the first ever Hannibal and Monty on Drunken Peasants on a Monday. Yes. Look at that, y'all. Yeah, on Monday. We, we, we're we here. We're... Uh, I, I, I got nothing. Huh? I, I wanted to... I wanted <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to say something clever, but that, that didn't I was work. I thought you were going to be celebrating Pride Month here with, what like, what rhymed next. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was thinking about it. I was like, no, what's, what's the opposite of, but I, 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 can't, I got nothing. I got nothing. So <laughs> I actually did vote uh, not in the last election because, <laughs> honestly, my vote for Biden in the last election was just because I hated Trump's. Uh, followers so much yeah especially mm -hmm. like the nick fuentes of the world like those kind of people they're just horrible mm -hmm. awful cunts of people so yeah. uh and i hate them more than actually trump himself mm -hmm. like i think they're yeah. especially like the online ones that don't even know what they're talking about yeah i so that's why i voted for biden because i was just like i i can't stand trump but the election before that uh i voted for jill stein actually yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Look, 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 I, I I did a write-in vote for Bernie Sanders here in Georgia, and in Georgia they do not count write-in votes for president. That is literally throwing your vote away. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally, and 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 I say that saying that like you know like Hillary lost Georgia by like I think something like fourteen thousand votes. Like she didn't she did not lose. I, I don't know what the actual number is, so let me not let me not quote that. But like she didn't lose Georgia by like a large number of votes. And I thought about that for a very long time afterwards. Not that, and and again, in that same election, I felt the same way. I was like, I don't want to vote for Hillary Clinton. I don't want to vote for for Donald Trump either. You know, and yeah. it's just, and like I said, the, the worst thing that we've ever done, well, I don't want to say the worst thing because America's done a lot of things, but the two-party voting system is just, it is objectively awful. And the yes. vast majority of Americans don't like this shit. Well, and it's a racket. Them. Like, Jesse Ventura wrote a book. It's called Democrats and Republicans. Yes! Better, buddy. When yeah. is the zebra effect coming back in full force? Oh, Billy will be back soon, and then we'll schedule for next month. But yeah, uh, yes. great book by Jesse Ventura, Democrats and Republicans. And it's oh. just about how it's, you know, they obviously there are differences and they have their own agenda, but they don't want anyone else. They don't want anyone else getting in power. They don't want someone, a third party or fourth party getting in there. So the one thing they no. agree on is keeping everyone else out. Yeah. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. I wish Jesse Ventura yeah. would run for president. He probably wouldn't win, but just to get him in the debates... You, like he was yeah. polling like ten percent in Minnesota 
And then he was in the mm. debates and he just like trounced everybody. He didn't show up with talking points or anything. He just showed up and just destroyed everybody. Because that, yeah. that's why I wanted Jesse to run against Trump. Because I feel like a debate, Jesse versus Trump, would have been so entertaining. Oh, oh yeah, amazing. Because Trump amazing. tries to bully, you know, and you can't bully Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that would have been that would have been fun to watch. Yes, uh, yeah, that would that would be fun to watch. The um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'd be curious to see like this. I, I think I'm expecting uh, the Republicans to take back the Senate and the House. Uh, maybe not the House, but definitely the Senate. Um, I think I'm thinking both, but they might only take one. Yeah, I I, I think I think the Democrats will have, end up having to keep a slim majority in the uh, the House. They'll lose the Senate. And in 2024, we'll either have President Trump or President DeSantis. It's what I'm what I'm projecting. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, I don't know. Um, God, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I'm wondering. I also have had this weird theory in my brain for a while that I'm like, you know, Biden's getting old. He might not want to run again. And he could literally appoint the first ever jesse lee peter sucker thank you he could literally (laughs) he could literally appoint the first woman president ever he already did it with the first woman vice president yeah yeah he could he could you know wait out till the end of his term and then like a month before be like all right i'm 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 retiring and we're gonna let kamala finish out my term and then she'll run as the incumbent shit all right which i i'm not a fan of Kamala Harris, but I feel like Joe Biden really wants to be the guy in the history books, like the last like old man white president that like created <clears throat> all these like firsts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I see that. Like he said, I had the I appointed the first this black woman to the Supreme yep. Court. I did this black this vice president. I made Juneteenth the holiday. Yep. Just, yep. Like, I, I, yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. All of that stuff. Yeah. He, I, I see it. I, I he see also it. appointed this person. Um, to be his press secretary that I don't know much about them, but I heard that they, there was something unique about them too. I can't, I, maybe the first, the first black female press secretary. I don't know, but, uh, or maybe she's a lesbian or something. I don't know. It was something unique about her that like Biden appointed her. I'm, I'm not saying she's not good at her job. I'm just saying like Biden does this to make himself look good. Biden is yeah. like earning brownie points by doing that. Yeah. That's how I feel yeah. about it. Without doing the stuff he needs to do to right. keep shit like what just happened from happening. Right. Yeah. It's all like ceremonial crap. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I in in the chat uh, I saw uh, Cheech. What's up, Cheech? I see you, homie. Uh, said Republicans can't win a national election legitimately, and I'm like, so uh, <laughs> the uh, just to just to uh, just a, a little bit of of random information for everybody watching the show. Uh, the last election essentially came down to like the the swing states of, of the the votes in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada. If you add up the difference in those numbers, it was only one hundred and fifty seven thousand votes. So like on paper, it was like uh, Joe Biden might have won like the popular vote by like millions, like six, seven, eight million. But like in the swing states, he only it like the difference was only 157,000 votes. Yeah, if they got like, rid of the electoral college, a Republican would never win. Like with with the way things are now, if yeah, they yeah. if they got rid of that, uh, you would not see a Republican president for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, Dem- Democrats tend to think that they're like, or left leaning voters tend to think that they're smarter than right leaning voters. They tend to think that like right leaning voters are like these dumb redneck country bumpkin white trash races and that is not an accurate picture of yep. people that vote on the right and they don't pay attention to what's going on the right because you know like they think they're smarter and then they fuck around and they get caught with caught with their pants down with shit like roe v wade and it'd be like yeah, yeah like but this but if you watch your your news mag and i'm not even talking about fox news if you watch your info wars and your bright Bart's and your and your daily callers and your your red states and your OANs and stuff like that. They have been See, building towards this for a very long time. Where I grew up, I do think of the red voting areas as like the rednecks and, and like racist people and like farmers and shit because this is this is the Ohio this was the last presidential election. It's only the urban areas 
mm-hmm. where you're, where you're going to see any blue on the map. Uh, and and the lower right here, Athens County, that's where Ohio University is. So that's like a big, mm-hmm. uh, like more left wing liberal arts college and shit. Mm-hmm. So I do kind of view it that way through my own personal bias. I realize it's not that way oh, everywhere. Oh. But... A lot, like, listen. A lot of a lot of Asian Americans are starting to vote uh, Republican. A lot of like, not here. Starting... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not in Seattle. Seattle's Seattle, Seattle's woke as fuck. <laughs> and I mean, like we have we have some of the highest uh, amounts of Asians per capita out of any area in the entire yeah. country. Oh yeah. Uh, Oh no! I it was, it's, it's, oh yeah, you notice it immediately. Yes, like, yeah. I, I, I understand. I'm not winning no Street Fighter tournaments in Seattle. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure that joke's far enough away from being racist. Uh, you know, yeah, like, not you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, but, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I I uh, I think the the picture that they try to paint of people that tend <laughs> to vote Republican isn't it? And that don't get twisted. Some of those people. Um, some of those people are, are definitely do exist. Like that, like that, that perception of right leaning voters does match some of the stereotypes, but not like the vet, not like not the vast majority that they try to paint it out to be. Like it's not like <clears throat> seventy three million Americans are all are all out here, you know, like you know, fucking blue lives matter. Like, like that's yeah. not. That, that's not what it is. Spoke- you know, some of those, some of those people are just fiscally conservative. That's just like, yeah, I don't want my money getting fucked up if they put a Democrat in office. Yeah. Um, you know? Spokane. I was wrong earlier when we got, when we were talking. Spokane did go slightly red in the last election. Um, mm-hmm. Spokane is where Gonzaga is, which is like one of the better college basketball teams. Yeah, Gonzaga is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah Gonzaga is a fan. Guy has a fantastic basketball. Gonzaga, UConn. Yep. Uh, I mean, not that UConn is just. I was just thinking about random schools that had yeah, great Duke. basketball. Right? Duke's one of the Duke, better. Yeah, yeah, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All the good states. That's right. awesome. We are about to wrap up the show. Anything you guys want to say before we end it all? Yes. Uh, for those of y'all, if this is your first time watching Hannibal and Monty on the Drunken Peasants, I am Hannibal the Beat Animal. And I'm Monty. And we are Hannibal Monty of Hannibal Monty Shit Show. Also, great. I like I like the editing right there just now. <laughs> I don't know if you did that on purpose. Or I did. Just, if you just if I, if I'm just like I've just I've done this You've so done many it times. Enough. He, he knows. He already knows. Yeah. yeah. So we are Hannibal Monty of Hannibal and Monty Shit Show. We do our show every Wednesday night at nine p.m. eight eight uh, nine p.m. East and eight p.m. Central. Uh, this week we'll be talking about Roe v. Wade. We'll be reacting to. Uh, uh, a couple, uh, 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 a couple conservative politicians talking about Roe v. Wade. We'll be talking about Jesse Lee Peterson's uh, 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 alleged homosexual <laughs> relationships, and uh, I don't know some other stuff. Me and Monty will figure it out in a couple of days. Yes, yes, gonna be a good time. Yeah, oh, it'll work. It'll it'll be fun. We'll make we'll make abortion funny again. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Monty, we, we, we were talk, we were having a conversation about like how can we make abortion funny, and I was like, what if somebody aborted a clown, right? Yeah. And then when they she had the abortion, it was you know, a bunch of clowns came out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I still don't know if it's funny, but we're, we're working on, it. we'll figure it I, out. We, we're trying, we're working on it, we're trying to put it out together. We're trying to, we're trying yeah. to, we're trying to work it out. We're trying to make it so people can laugh about something that's absolutely terrible. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. If anybody can do it, it's us. <laughs> yeah. And also, also, Ben, get over that COVID. I don't like it. I'm going to try, like and we'll see everybody back. As long as I'm still alive, we'll see everybody back tomorrow for the pre-show for one of our two Patreon private shows. Sign up. Link in the description. Good night, everybody. Yeah, good night. Y'all later. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.